princess to go near. You're welcome, my princess. Distinguished Madam Millicent Uzonko, the only woman who stands out in class amongst her equals. I greet you with all sense of humility. I must say that I'm really surprised at the visit by the most amazing princess of our kingdom. So if I may humbly ask, what brings the only daughter of our almighty king to my place? Is that the first thing you say to a visitor? Oh, 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 oh forgive my manners. Come in, come in and sit down, please. Don't worry. I'll speak while standing. Oh no, my princess, that would be so uncultured and undeserving for you to speak while standing out here. But that's exactly what I want to do. I hope I get what I want. Very well noted, my princess. I'll grant your request. I promise to do the way it pleases you. At least for the first time you're visiting my place. I'm so honored to have you. Madam Millicent Uzunko, the woman with class and poise. You should sure have your way with words, though. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Women do not hail you for nothing. I make bold to say that all I've heard about you are not lies. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. You are indeed wise. You are. Thank you so much, my princess. Please. I'll Thank see you. you. This is the first time you're coming to my place, Princess Ugone. And it's only right you sit so I can offer you cola. Very well, ma'am. I'll sit. Thank you, ma'am. Excuse me. Hold on, Mrs. Uzonko. You do not have to worry yourself about the cola. I am perfectly fine. Please sit down. Thank you. I am here because you have something I'm interested in. Really? That is an honor, my princess, I must say. But what could that possibly be? Your son. My son? How? I am interested in your son, Mrs. Suzonko, and not just interested. Actually, I want us to be husband and wife. That's unbelievable. What is unbelievable about a mature request? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's just that it's unheard of that a woman goes proposing to a man. So I'm wondering why you're doing it and why it has to be my son. But I'm doing it already. Whoever that doesn't like it should deal with it. I don't care. Uh, I am the princess of this great land. I go for what I want. I want your son. And I've come for him. Oh, 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 oh. I'm sorry, my princess. You see, no one is disputing the fact that as the princess of this kingdom, you have the right to get whatever you want. But I think you're getting it wrong this time. Well... I have delivered my message, ma'am, and I hope it gets to him. You really want me to deliver the message to my son? Of course. He is the one I'm getting married to. He should know about my proposal. <sighs> okay. In that case, I'll pass your message across to him. Okay, that's fine. Please, one more thing. Tell him to try see me the next he visits. I would like to host him in the palace of my father. Wow. And I'm sure he'll be delighted to be your guest. Thank you so much, Mrs. Susan Kuo, for your kind words. <laughs> I'll be on my way now. Enjoy the rest of the day. God bless you, my princess. Thank Enjoy you. yours too. Thank you.
I am not going to mince words by telling you what I want to tell you. You see that man who finally became our governor? I am not happy that he is governor because he is not qualified for the office he is occupying. He's not. I don't even know whether to blame those who are working for him or to blame him. It means they are the people tarnishing his image. Oh, come on, don't tell me that. Has he got any image that anybody will tarnish? I was complaining when he was campaigning that this man is not qualified for this position. But nobody listened to me because he was busy sharing uh, bags of rice, sharing, uh, uh, what do they call it, uh, t uh, cartons of tomato, sharing uh, uh, bags of crayfish, two bags of yam and noodles and all the rubbish he was sharing. Because of that, you, you, you people made him governor. Look at where we are. Look, look at, uh, can you see what, where we are now? And unfortunately, that idiot is going to be in that office for the next four years. No, how do you consider that? Four years is going to be wasted. Chief, what if he gives them money and then bezel it? You yourself know that what you are saying is not right because the man is so dumb. He does not even know that that road should be constructed. I said it before, and I have said it again. He is not qualified to be local government chairman even, not to be a state governor. He's not qualified for any political position. That's what I'm saying. Chief, you're taking this too far. Calm down. You see this? You see what I'm saying? This is what I am saying. This is why all of you are where you are. This is it. Chief, I don't understand. Which people? You don't know the people. You know what? I want to be left alone. I just I want to have my peace. I want to just have my peace. I said that this man should know that nobody should vote for this man. That this man is not qualified. I was saying it. And I was very serious. No, everybody, everybody refused to listen to me. All you men of timber and caliber, men in positions of authority, all of you sold your conscience because of what? Because of food stuff. Because of what already food stuff, we are where we are. Hi, this is regrettable. Very regrettable. Chief, you are taking this too far. You and I know that this very particular man is a very good man. Yes, he is. You and I know that leadership is not easy. Hey, I, I, are you listening to yourself? No, no, I, I, are you the one speaking here now? Yes, because leadership is not a bed of roses. Exactly my point. If a man is occupying a position and he is not delivering that position, it is only right for him to vacate that position for those who can deliver to come in. Is that not what, he, what, what is supposed to be happening? Chief, are you saying he's not doing anything at all? Yeah? Okay, you want to hear it from me? What has he done? No, tell me. What has he done? You see, when I, when I say that some men who are positioned in this state politically, when I say that they are hypocrites, they will get angry. But each time they open their mouths to speak before me, you are seeing a bunch of hypocrites speaking. What is this? Chief, are you calling me a hypocrite? Well, listen, I have not called you a hypocrite. But I want to give you a scenario, very simple scenario, that if you see a man who is holding a political position and the man is not delivering on that political position, then you have a group of men, well-positioned men, who's supposed to be telling him his sins to his face, now praising him when they know so well that he's not doing anything. What are you going to call those men? Are they not a bunch of hypocrites? They are a bunch of hypocrites. Uh, Chief, I don't blame you. I rather blame myself for starting this discussion in the first place. Hey, listen to me, Chief Ndidiamaka. Do, do not force me to start to see you in different light. Because I hold you as a man of timber and caliber. I hold you as a man who has the interests of the people at heart. I hold you as a progressive. But from the way you are going with this idiot who is now parading himself as a governor, I may be forced to start to see you in a different light. Don't see me differently. I'm still the one you know. I used to know you. This one sitting here now. I don't know this one. Babe, I need you to give me time. I need time to think about it. How much time? Oh, How much time do you need to make up your mind to be with a man that you love? 
Are you sure you love me? Babe, what are you saying? You know I love you. And the love we share is deep and inseparable. The more reason you shouldn't be wasting our time. Stop punishing me like this, baby. I want to be with you. What, we've been together for years now. How much more time do you need to make up your mind so that we can get together, get married, start a family? Babe. What? Can you please calm down? Of course, I'm trying to be calm. You know what? You know why I'm doing what? What I'm doing? Why? I'm doing this because of my father's hatred for the governor. Uh -huh. Just calm down. What has your father's hatred for the governor got to do with us? I'm the one getting married to you, not the governor. I expect your father to understand. I believe he understands that. Stop hiding behind that to waste our time. Huh? All right, I've heard you, but I still need time, and you will give me the time. Okay? Please. Babe. Are you sure you love me? I'm asking you. You know I love you. Are you sure you really love me? Babe. Okay. I truly love you. And if you know that, right? But. You need more time. Exactly. This love is running out of patience. Please, baby, make up your mind. Okay? Yes. I don't want to lose you. Say me. I'm not losing you. So, this time around, I... I'll give you the time that you want. Okay? Sure. You're just the best. Thank you. Thank you. How's your dad doing? Mm. How's he? He's fine. <laughs> ah, your dad. Man has quite a reputation, you know. I don't think I have... No, I haven't. I haven't even met him one-on-one. -on -one. I haven't um, yet to have an encounter with him, you know. Uh, you know um, ah, Chief is in Also. <laughs> the one-man riot squad of politics in our state. Your father. Mm -hmm. Indeed, my father is a good man. He's good in everything, but... I feel his extreme politics is beginning to affect me indirectly. Oh, I, I get your point, but, you know, I think you should look on the brighter side. Yeah, I think that you should capitalize on your father's political popularity to make inroads into politics, especially in your state. Hell no. Why? <laughs> my father will cut off my ears. Moreover, I, I want to be a private woman. I do not wish to go into politics politics with all their media razzmatazz. No, I don't have all that time. <laughs> well, truth is, um, I feel that you have not taken time to think about this. When you think it through properly, you would probably see things differently. Look, even if you are not interested in politics, politics is interested in you because man is a political animal. Maybe. No way, babes. I'm not going into politics. Never say never now. I don't want it. Never say never. No, not interested. Never say never. Come you know, here. you know, you know, I've always wanted to say this about your father. I don't even think he's a politician. I think that your father is the politics. In the politics. <laughs> <laughs> if you get what I mean. I mean, it's, it's, it's clear his reputation precedes him. And that is why everyone who's... Um, Coming against him in the elections mm -hmm. next year, he's scared. <laughs> His reputation precedes him. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Mom, <laughs> I 
honestly, I still cannot believe that the princess of Amanata came here and said what you have just narrated, Mom. I was even shocked myself. Then I realized she was indeed serious. And what was your response, Mom? Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, I'm not the one she's interested in. Interested? Mother, the princess of Amanata chose on Wednesday. He said that everyone in Amanato knows that I cannot be reached. To come here. To see you. I have a word with you. Mom. This is how I see it. I think she wants to win you over before she comes to me. Why are you sounding as if you're technically considering what she just said? Why would you say a thing like that, Mother? I haven't said anything. I am just processing what you have told me. <laughs> <laughs> a woman. Not just a woman. The princess of this land is asking for your hand in marriage. I mean, where is it done? Well, she demanded to see you when you return. Did she actually make <laughs> demands or you're making that up, Mom? Or did she make demands when she came here? Or you, you, you just made that up? She's the princess, remember? She gets whatever she wants anytime. Quite all right. But I'm not an item on a shelf. I am a man who understands what it means to be a man. Huh? I cannot be tossed around, Mom. But no, Rocky is in here. The princess is already targeting something. In fact, in this case, she is the man. Because she is the one with the proposal. Uh -huh. Another point of correction, Mother. I see no proposal here. The princess of Amanato pays a respected woman in Amanato a visit. And in the course of her visit, she said something. I'm a man in politics. I'm a man in government. And in government, we do not operate by the same mother. I believe that you know exactly what I mean by that. Okay, Chuku, my son. Mama, say so. Mommy. <laughs> You're so, so unassuming. <laughs> Naira. Where on earth do you expect me to get such an amount of money from? So because my boyfriend is the SA to the governor, I'm expected to always have money. Okay. You know, no, 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 you listen. You need to understand that getting this money is not easy. These guys begin to look at me as if I'm a gold digger. Of course, of course you don't care. All you care is just to wake up and ask for money without even knowing if I have any means of getting this money. No, you need to listen. It's not been long I sent you two million naira of which I don't even know what you did with. And here you are asking me for money again. Okay, fine. I'll, no, I am not, I am not promising. I will try and look for a way to get you money. I don't even know what to do with all that money I sent, I always sent to you. 
Of course, I'll find a way of getting the money. Of course, you know, it's not too long I sent you money. So when do you need this money? What? Next week? No, 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 that's too close. You know, I, I, I need to find an excuse to give to him before he can give me this money. But seriously, you, you should... Hello? Hello? This guy is mad. You're just too stupid, you're mad! Again. What is it? Can't you see him coming? He will come and start embarrassing me again. So that is why you want to go back? How long do you think you will keep running? Why can't you warn him once and for all? You will not understand. This man is a thorn on my flesh. Leave me my love. Baby, baby. What are you doing with this bed? Amechi, please. I don't have your time today. Hmm? Please. And I am not your love. Just leave me alone. Wait. Oh. Am I the one you just called a bed? What the Puara? I can see you're mad. See, stop the TV for me. You have said that you will not marry. So stop. Allow her to marry. Don't deceive her. Right. her. Who wants to marry her? Hmm? Are you not seeing me? Take a good look at me. Me, of course. Are you not seeing an ambitious man and fine man like me? See, let me tell you. Very soon, me, I'll become the president of this country. And when that happened, <laughs> Mama, I will make her my first lady. And you, her maid, Mankota. I can't even believe we're even here listening to this man. Now, I met you or whatever you call yourself. Listen to me. This should be the first and last. You will stop my friend saying this kind of nonsense. Idiot. Go and get a life for yourself. I don't blame you. You are jealous of her. See, if you let me tell you, she's very, very jealous about our love. See, she's among those girls that are begging me to marry them. Don't allow her to deceive you. Why are this girl asking me who wants to marry her? Don't worry. <laughs> Soon you will know. Okay, Beke. Okay, Beke. Don't worry. You came to visit me. I hope all is well. Uh, I will always come to visit. Why would I come and visit? Although you have decided you won't be visiting me, but you are my best friend. I'll be coming uh, to visit. Uh, <laughs> and yet, are you are you sitting there already? I see if you have confirmed I'm in the mood for a meeting. What what does that mean? Don't you want me to sit down? Not exactly. It's just that, as you can see, I'm already dressed up. I want to go out before you walked in. Are you indirectly asking me to leave your house? Oh, no. That's not what I mean. You know, as the PRO of our meeting. So I thought, maybe you came with that information. So, but there's no problem. You can be, you make yourself comfortable. Let me... No, no, no. Um, it's nothing. Um... I just came to ask if what I've been hearing, whether it's true or just uh, a rumor. Hmm. What did you hear this time? It's about Okechuku and the princess. Hmm? That's what's everywhere now. So I, I came to confirm if it's uh, just cha cha cha, you know, those talk, side talks that people do, or if it's true. <laughs> yeah. Hmm? You know what? I'm throwing that question back to you. 
-hmm. What do you think? That it happened or it didn't happen? Uh, that's why I came to... That's what I came to confirm from the horse's mouth now. Millicent, you keep making me think that joblessness is making you begin to behave like a child. So you want me to hear something in the village and not come and tell you? How? And why should it be always negative rumors that you keep hearing? It's not negative. Oh. It's a good thing. I just want to know if it's true. <laughs> well, to answer you specifically, I made a trip to the place. And what you heard was exactly what I said. Do you have a problem with that? Listen, I am the princess of this land. And I tell you something. A time will come when people who always think out of the box will decide to do things differently. And that's exactly what I've done. And I expect you to understand that. I am waiting for his feedback. And I know it won't be long before I get it. What if he declines? <laughs> Listen, I do not want to discuss that because I know definitely he is never going to decline. I am going to be in the palace throughout this week. If you have time, you can come around. Let's discuss in details. Okay? That's fine. A woman should be allowed to go for what she wants. Any law holding a woman down or preventing her from doing that which makes her happy must be totally thrown away. I have started it and I must finish it. What's wrong with you? Why are you looking all worked up? Is he not Cassie? Eh? What about him? The thing is, I don't know if you understand it. Tell me first now. I'm a big girl. I can process everything. But you must try and process this, not saying something else. Can you start talking already? What is it? I'm dragging my feet because you do not understand the language of love. And why will you say that? You have not fallen in love before. That is why I don't want to tell you. Better start talking or else I will leave you and go to where I'm going to. And don't insult me, please. Besides, I will still fall in love when the time comes. Can you start talking? I saw him hungry in my dream. And what does that mean? I saw Cassie in my dream, hungry and angry. <laughs> it's natural. A hungry man will naturally be angry. Is that why you're feeling so bad? No. He was very hungry. But then the anger came because he had nothing to eat. Now you're not even understanding the sarcasm. Are you sure you're okay? Are you okay? I told you to be reasonable on this. Why are you acting stupid? <laughs> you are the one who is being stupid here. You saw a man hungry in your dream and you brought it to reality so prove what point exactly wait how did you even know he was hungry did he open his mouth and told you he was hungry must he tell me yes must he tell me that he's hungry before i will know so wait you mean when you see a man who is hungry you won't know now i'm beginning to understand wait what exactly was he hungry for food the normal food that is being cooked in the kitchen or what? If anyone don't be stupid. 
Why are you reading an entirely different meaning into what I am saying? Neka, look at what you're doing to yourself. Because of a man who does not even know you exist. Stop doing this to yourself and accept Chuka's proposal. If hmm? anyone, I have told you countless times that I don't love Chuka. I don't want to have anything to do with him. Nika, see, I believe in this saying. The devil you know is better than the angel you are yet to unmask. Chuka, yeah, who has made his intention known to you, is the devil. And Cassie, who does not even know you exist, and may ultimately slap you if you, make his, if you make your intention known to him, is the angel you are yet to unmask. Try and reconcile this before you get yourself grounded. I love Cassie. If anyone, Cassie is the one I love. Uh, how could you even think of such thing? Don't you realize you are a princess? Daughter of Ezonye Konye Konye, the lion of Amanato Kingdom. How could you allow it spread in this kingdom that you went proposing to a man? I did that, father, because that's what I want. And who told you you must get what you want all the time? I told myself. Because I am the daughter of the lion himself. I wanted something. I made a move. Because I wanted it. And I believe that the lion himself shouldn't have a problem with that. You must change that your mindset, my dear daughter. That step you took is a useless one. And I'm going out of my way to change that blunder. It is not a blunder, father. You're the one making this whole thing up. Please, can you stop already? Why do you talk as if you don't know the tradition of this land? It is men that go proposing to women, not the other way around. Never has it been had any way that a woman went proposing to a man. Why must it start with my own daughter? It is starting with me because I am the daughter of the lion himself. And I am wired into starting something new. Always. Okay, let me ask you this. Did you bother to ask yourself what will people say? Cultures and traditions are never static, Father. They are meant to evolve with the ever-evolving things of the earth. For instance, Father, the kinds of things we eat now are never the kinds of food our forefathers ate. The kinds of building we live in now are totally different from the ones our forefathers lived in. For the things are changing. And you expect me to adapt and accept the changes while I stick to no changing customs and traditions? No, Father. I am not wired like that. I have started something new and I want you to support me because I'm not going back. I'm going to say this plainly. You are going to step down on this. I'm not just talking as your father, but as Ezonye Konye Konye, the lion of Amanato Kingdom. Father, you cannot maintain your stand on this. I know you are the beast, but I am the daughter of the beast. Father, please, do not let us set the world on fire. Why are you trying to push me to the wall? That's because I love him. I love this man, Father. Have I ever told you something like this before? Have you ever seen me with a man before? The answer is no. And I kept my cool all this while looking for the real man. Now I have found him. You should be happy that he is from this land. And I made my move. Because I'm not ready for any traditional protocol. Father, stick with me on this and there will not be problems. But if you don't support me on this, things will go wrong. Trust me, Father. The lion himself. You will not like it. Why is she doing unimaginable things? Okay, you know what? It's it's simple. 
You get the money you asked for on one condition. Babe, are you serious? You should not give me a condition before you do something for me. I don't know. That's, that's not that serious. Now relax. Uh, what, are you scared? Um, oh, no, I'm not. Just that uh, you've never said such a thing to me before. Oh, well, it's not a condition that can kill you. It's something that you can do, actually. Um, yeah. What is the condition? Are you ready? Say it. Okay. You would have to come with me to go see my mother. Oh no. Babe, not again. I thought we have... It's a very simple condition. You know, you just agree to it and the money is yours. I know you. You're doing this because you know I need this money. Why are you bringing your intimidating mother into this? I don't ever said that my mother is intimidating. Where did you get that from? Yeah? You know, you say these things just so you keep making excuses not to go see her. That's not fair. Always talking as though I'm not interested in the marriage. Look, I don't want to go into all of that. Okay? Do we have a deal or not? Honey, why are you pushing this? Let it go. No, I won't let it go because I don't understand why you're refusing to see my mother. She is going to be your mother-in-law very soon, so you have to get used to being around her all the time. She's serious. I am serious. Can you say with all sense of certainty that this is a deal? I, I, I cannot. Because you have clearly refused to accept my proposal. I don't know why. Tell me. Okay. I will. I promise you. Just give me time. Alright? But meanwhile, you will give me the money after we've gone to see your mother. Deal? She will give me the money, right? Yes. Deal. <laughs> but, 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 just so you know, I am not happy that I had to go this far just to get you to come see my mother. I know I may not be able to explain this, but I am doing this just for us, for you. Because I love you. Honey. Yeah. Your mother is not as intimidating as it's been reported. I don't know where you all get this funny idea about my mother. She's nice, she's sweet. Who's been feeding you with lies? Huh? Listen, when you get to know my mother, you will find out that she's the best mother in law you can possibly have. Huh? Okay, so... So what? years of waiting for Okechuku to get married. Why will he finally settle for a woman looking morally debased? Ah. I have to start immediately to take my stand. If I do nothing, Okechuku will start thinking I am in support of all this. Is this who my son has been planning to present to me as his wife-to-be? She doesn't even look like a wife material. 
Look at what she's even wearing. Was my son blind when he went for this one? Ah, oh, the kissing can wait. Oh. Both of you are not married yet. Um, okay, Chiku, please, I need to show you something. Oh, all right, sweet. I'll be back soon. Okay? Okay. Right. Don't worry, my dear. You will soon be back. Hmm? Just a minute. Okay. You know, you always feel up in anger whenever I tell you that I do not like your company, but that's just the truth. I don't like your company. You don't like my company because I tell you the truth always. I tell you the truth, that's why you don't like my company. I don't know why people don't like the truth. But you know what? I will continue to come here to tell you the truth because Nezo Kobondo. Stop deceiving yourself, Asata. You do not know anything about the truth. You're just trying to make me hate my job and that I do not like. Hate your job? What do you call a job? You know, here now, boy bo, bo, bo in the neighborhood, that's what you call a job. Hi. Oh, Cassie. Have you asked yourself? Have you sat down, check and balance? In a week, in a month, even in a year, and ask yourself, how long will you continue like this and be able to have money to buy a Tokumboka? Mbaka have a Zikuda Red Belgium, Nigerian used. But let's not to go far. When will you make the money to be able to buy a bicycle? 17.5. We all know that you have mouth. So you can say anything that you want to say with your mouth. But I'm not going to spice issues with you. I need you to know that there's dignity in level. I love my job. I love that which I'm doing. I'm going to remain in it and also get a living through it. There is dignity in level, dignity in level. Oh my what they fool my range rover. Dignity in level, dignity in level. Oh my Ah! Uh, Ah! Cassie. Come on, be going as a Leave my show. Use your sense and not your muscle. Use your sense and not your muscle. Oye, konye konye. You know that when I speak now, all of you will begin to say that I am being harsh on this man. But the truth of the matter is that we elected an insensitive man into the office of the governor of the state. When we knew it from the very beginning that the man we are talking about is not qualified for the position. I am actually thinking that the best way forward to solve this problem is to motivate the members of the House of Assembly and get him impeached. Chief Izunaso, I understand your point. But you know I am a king and cannot rush into conclusion without first hearing from the horse's mouth. At least let him tell us his reason for not fulfilling the promise he made to his people during his campaign. Well, uh, I'm trying to hear from the horse's mouth. He's actually giving the man the respect that he does not deserve. Who is he in the first place? Listen, Onyeze, I respect you so much. You are one man I hold in high esteem. And the reason is because you are gifted of the gods with wisdom. If what you're saying is how you feel about it. I don't have any problem than to allow you to handle it as king. But I, am, I must have to tell you that I, I still don't know how that man maneuvered his way into that office in the first place. Well, you know what money can do to the psyche of most people. He gave them money and they voted for him. We may not like him, but that's the man we have as the governor. It's already a bad situation. But we have to find a way to make something out of that bad situation. Yeah. Onyez, uh, well, you are the king, and if this is how you feel about it, I have no other option than to put them a weapon. Chief Izunaso, the one man riot squad. Yes, onye, konye, konye. I know I will always count on you. <laughs> Thank you very much for that confidence, Onyez. Uh, now, can we stop uh, disturbing ourselves about this uh, useless man occupying position that is not qualified to occupy? Can we concentrate on the main thing we wanted to discuss today? That is our manato new layout that we are planning. Uh, how do we go about it? 
it all boils down to the same thing. The Amanato new layout will take hundreds of millions of Naira to execute. That's why I want to bring in the state government to help us. And that's the reason I want to use diplomacy on the governor to see how he can help us. Yes, onye, onye, onye. You are indeed a king. And you are a grade one politician. <laughs> the pride of Amanato. The governor may be a fool, but we can play on his foolishness and get what we want. <laughs> yes, onye, onye, onye. You know, this is the reason they say two heads are better than one. Why would you sound this way, Mom? I am sounding this way because I wouldn't want anyone to blame me for not saying it plainly. That is why I have elected to say the way I said it. Okay, let me be civilized and allow you get to your point why would you say that she's not the right woman for me oh, very good then now listen she is a beautiful woman no doubt she has class and has a strong sense of fashion i wouldn't bother about her ability to cook because i know you men of these days prefer to eat out but, I still know she's not the ideal woman for you. That's all. That's all. Mother, don't you think that you're beginning to cross the line? Don't even start, okay, Chukwu? Have I ever interfered in your politics? But when it comes to the issue of who you will get married to, I have a say. <clears throat> You think you have a say in my private life? Really, mother? You think you should have a say in my private life? Because I am your mother. Okay, Chukwu, you didn't marry early enough when I had wanted you to. And now that you finally made up your mind, it has to be someone I will be comfortable with. You lie, mother. You're wrong. It has to be someone that I will be comfortable with. My life, my wife, I will marry to this woman, not you. I will live with her, not you. This has nothing to do with you. And I am the one that is going to have her as a daughter-in-law. So don't even try to play that on my stand. <coughs> no. Okay, Chuku. For me, I don't see anything wrong in what the princess did. Yes! I mean, why is everyone trying to crucify her for taking a bold step towards what she likes? Listen, what my princess did is what I called shoot your shot. Yes, and it's not a topic to be discussed right now, please. Hmm. I am not surprised at all. Who else can this kind of thing be coming out from if not you? So if they leave you now, you go and ask for a man's hand in marriage. I wonder what this world is turning into. Say the way she even said it. Shoot your shot. My Indeed. Mm. Exactly. Please let us concentrate on the subject matter here, which is a whole process of Amanato. Going after a man. I wonder what people like us will now do. As for me, all these things you people are saying is not even making any sense at all. To me, I stand with the princess Kidiba. And that is why I said Ineka is super civilized. I'm with you, Biko. At least I now have a go-ahead to shoot my own shot. I pity you. Don't you know that when you ask a man out, he loses the respect he has for you? Exactly. These people calling themselves civilized there, they don't even know anything. There is no one book that defines constitutes civilization. So do well not to insult me so I won't take it personal with you. And you all, I mean you, 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 must be made to know that not all men reason like the ones in your conclusion. Yes, there are some men you approach and they will cherish you forever. I mean forever. <laughs> what do you even know about men? 
Is it not this village that you and I are in? Ask me. Yes, I might be a village girl, but I am enlightened. I read wide and I watch films that teach me the way. If you don't know what to say, just shut your mouth. Why will you shut her up? Yes. Why will you shut her up? See, as for me, I strongly support our princess. Yes. I support what she is doing. And I am her biggest fan. Me too. Yeah, you people should live here. I beg. You better. Just imagine these people. I now see. they are gone, oh, please let us discuss back. like mature ladies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That day, I went to this. From the look on your face, it is obvious there is something wrong. Do you mind telling me about it? Ah, uh, Nidu, you don't want to talk about it, leave it. I don't understand. Wait, your mother doesn't like the girl. How did you know? <sighs> Come on, it's a normal thing. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it. I'm certain she will come around. Oh no. I don't think so. Nedu, my mother told me to my face that I cannot have Ozioma as my wife. Now that aside, now what bothers me is what makes my mother think she has the right to interfere in my private life. To that extent. No, wait. To that extent. <laughs> no, do why are you laughing now? What, what's funny? You see, please, stop unleashing your political aggressiveness on your mother. She obviously doesn't deserve it. Now, I will advise you on the right place to channel your aggressiveness. That is to your boss, the governor. Not your mother. You're speaking English. I am telling you that my mother told me that I can Look, dude, you, you know what else she told me? She told me that simply because I did not get married when I was supposed to get married, you know, that she has now taken it upon herself to be the one to make the choice of a woman for me. She's crossing the line. You don't get it. I totally get it. <laughs> You're just bothering yourself. I think, listen, just keep preaching to her. I'm certain she will have a change of heart. With what you have just said, it's a confirmation that you don't know my mother. Change of heart. You wait. She is just a mother. And doing the thing that mothers do. Just be calm. She will come to like this girl. Suddenly. Okay. And is that why you're disagitated? Yes. Oh, yes. And one more thing, Ozioma. She's not helping me to. Uh, how do you mean? She's not forthcoming. You know, she's she's laid back. She's she's not giving me answers. She's not, you know, you know what I mean. Like, you know, she's been like a desicle, and I don't, I don't. It's almost as if I'm the one who wants this marriage to happen. Like I'm, you know, like you know. You get like, she's not forthcoming. You know, I'm beginning to think that you are just the one getting yourself worked up here. You're always on the fast lane. Ozema is a woman. And what she's doing is normal with women. Come on, you don't expect her to just give you an instant answer. Why not? Calm down. Alice, find solace in the fact that the girl loves you. Love. <laughs> Love. Ah. Ah, they do. I'm beginning to doubt the said love here. Yeah. If she loves me, she won't be stalling. Don't you think? I think you're overthinking. And it's not good. Well, you won't blame me now. I'm, I'm trying to process the entire thing. I'm, you know, I have my mother to deal with and then Ozioma. Processing this whole thing, it's... Okay, okay. Let's keep that aside. Uh, where is Ozioma now? 
With your mom? Really? <laughs> With my mom? <laughs> How can that even happen? Because your mom does not even know what my mother thinks of her. <laughs> At least for now. So please, I'm, I'm just trying to be careful. Please. <laughs> From what you know of me, would you say I am bothered? I know you are not bothered. And that is why I'm here. The people are saying many things. The people. Who cares? I mean, who cares about what the people say? It is none of my business. I mean, how else do you want me to explain this to you for you to understand? I understand 100%, my princess. But the fear is, where do we hide? Hide? For what exactly? What are we hiding from? I mean, in a situation where Okechuku Uzonko, the SSA to the governor, rejects your proposal, where do we hide? Swear on the staff that it wasn't my father that put you to this. I swear immediately, my princess. The king was not the one that put me up to this. I'm only acting on my own as the head of the maids. I am only bothered if the SSA turns down the proposal. Princess, we are finished. So what exactly are you, are you trying to say? What, what are we going to do? Let us not wait for his response. Let's go and withdraw the proposal. No! No. Never. I have already made the proposal. I will never withdraw it. And he cannot say no to me. For the man who will say no to me has not even been born. Why is she so stubborn more than the father? Hey. Baby. Hey. You look good. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, look at you. You didn't even tell me that you're coming. I see. So now I have to take permission before coming to your house. No. No. No, that's, that's not what I meant, but hey, it's good to see you. You look good. Thank uh, you. I'm rushing off for an all-important meeting this morning at the State House. Whew, how do I look? You look wonderful. Sharp, right? Yeah, as Great. always. Great. So, are you not forgetting something here? What? If you ask me to come pick up a check today. Oh, that one. Yeah, mm, come on. I remember. It? I didn't forget. I'm not running. I'll give it to you. Uh, but for now, please just let me go. Hmm? We hope you've had something to eat. It's always looking flat. Oh, well, I'll do lunch. But she likes a brunch. <laughs> huh? I love you. I love you too, baby. Just come here. Mm. All right. Sir, please. You can't go in and see him now. Because he's who? Do you even know the man you're, 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 you're trying to stop? Do you know? Do you know? Sir, you don't have any appointment with him. What is this? Listen, I am here to see the governor. You are his senior special assistant on special duties. I am a special man who is here for a special business with the governor. So I want you to fix the meeting immediately. There are some governors that you can see like this. Not my governor. Uh, by saying not your governor, are you trying to say that I'm not going to see the governor? What I am saying is that I do not know how you found your way here. Obviously, sir, do not do this again. This is a government house. We have rules here. We abide by strict rules. Don't do this again. Please show him out. Yes, sir. Well, I'm going to leave. 
But I want you to know that I'm coming back. And I am coming back specifically for you. I'm sorry, sir. Honestly, Ukunne, without mincing words, I will tell you immediately that I am very disappointed. Really? No, Priscilla. I am the one who is deeply disappointed in you. Are you kidding me? Even you? What do you mean, even me? Don't you know you are a princess? Do you sometimes forget that you're the first daughter of Amanato? I don't get it. Are you here to educate or criticize me? Which one? See, I know you know all those things already. Yet you keep behaving as if they should keep talking to you about it. I mean, do you know how odd it sounds for a woman to propose to a man? Talk more of a princess. Listen, all these things you're saying will not make me change my mind one bit. What is wrong with you, Priscilla? I am mature enough. I can make a choice for myself. Don't I have the right to speak up, to say what I want as an adult? What is all this? The princess this, the princess that. I don't get it. The princess, is she not a human being? Your father is a good man. That's why you're still talking. If it's my own father, he would have disowned you. <laughs> Your wish. Well, the thing is, I love the young man. I want him. And I'm going for him, whether you like it or not. So are you in support or not? You think I will support you going around throwing yourself at a low life like him? No. Oh, so because he's the one now. He's a low life. So you are in support of me throwing myself at any other person, right? That is not what I am saying. Then what are you saying? You are a princess for goodness sake. Stop it already. What do you expect people to say? Besides, it's not our tradition. Oh, so you want to tell me that you know the traditions and customs of this land more than I do? I don't, but... But what? No, go ahead and tell me. Tell me the tradition. Educate me more on it. I have said my own. This is not right, Ajumwait. Whatever it is, you can speak for yourself, Priscilla. You cannot speak for me. Mamo, come, my dear friend. Ah, ah. Anyway, you know, no matter how angry you get at me, you will always and always remain my friend. Is that why you treated me like that the last time? Ah, is that why you're squeezing your face? Eh? Is, it, is it not enough for me to squeeze my, my, my face? Anyway, no problem. I know why you, you do these things. I know why you treat me as if I'm less than human. Oh no, but you saw that I was already going out that day. But you wanted to continue with your discussion. Anyway, it's all over. Hmm? I'm sorry, forgive me, oh. Forgive me. Forgive me now. <laughs> it is not in, enough to, to say it next time. Hmm? You, you shouldn't be treating me as, as if I'm a nobody. Ah, Mamuka. But you know you lied. Me, Millicent, treat you like a nobody. You know that's not possible. Ah, ah. Anyway, I've forgiven you now. If I don't forgive you, who, who will give me food? for me and my children to you. Oh, no, 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 don't even go there. Don't even go there. You know you're my friend. My house is your house. You are free to come in any day, any time and take whatever you want. Anyway, I purposely invited you over to observe this, your beautiful face once again before I transfer your children's school fees into your account. Hey! <laughs> And this is the friend I'm supposed to be fighting with. Hey, who are you? Hey, you know, God will bless you for always reminding you. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not remind him. I did not. So don't give me that credit. He knows the due date he pays fees for all the children he's sponsoring. 
Really? Yes. Hey. So I didn't remind me. He was even the one that reminded me. I'll never stop praying for this, your son, <laughs> so that he can keep growing in politics yeah, until he becomes president. Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you. And God will also bless your own children. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm sure now we can now play. Yes. My best <laughs> friend. Eh? <laughs> Mamo, come, my friend. Did she say anything? What I know now is that her mind is made. Oh no, how can you say that? <sighs> how can her mind be made on something that will hurt her? Eh? Oh, I feel your frustration. You think she will be destroyed if he says no? Exactly. Even the king feels the same. And she's not even saying anything to anyone. See, Priscilla, I brought you into this because I know you are the only one who could talk some sense into her. But unfortunately, she has barred me from discussing this any further. Let's give her the benefit of the doubt and believe she knows what she's doing. You are a guard from the palace because you had once delivered a message to me from the palace. <sighs> what is this visit for? I am not here as messenger of the king. Rather, I am here as messenger to the princess. Why? The princess summons your presence in the palace, madam. I have no business with the princess. You must not have business with her before she summons you. She wants to see you, madam. Please. Go back and tell the princess you didn't meet me at home. I wasn't around when you came here. A guard who is under royal oath cannot go back to the abode of the king and say he did not see a woman he saw and interacted with. Come on, do you even know if this is me? Why are you playing dumb with me? Huh? I am sorry, madam, but I can't lie to the princess. Really? Okay, I want you to swear right now. Swear you have never lied to the princess before. The princess is waiting for you at the palace, ma'am. What exactly does the princess want from me? What does she want? Must it be my son? I know exactly what is going on. I know exactly what you're planning to do. They just want to, they just want to frustrate me. All my efforts. They're trying so hard to stop me. But no, I would never allow them to succeed. Never. What in this world will make a woman to go proposing marriage to a man. Why will this princess want to drag me into her mess? Why? Why will it even be my son? Oh God. She can experiment whatever suits her exuberance, but definitely not with my son. No, not with my son. Never. Not with my son. I didn't look at you, 
easy out of all this? Had it been he got married when I was begging him, the princess wouldn't have made this trip in the first place. God, how do I solve this now? what I was almost getting. If you want, why can't you allow a girl to do what she feels is right? What are you blabbing about, Neka? Wait, are you sure you've not started smoking all this nonsense? I am not smoking anything, if you want, and you know it. Okay. I was just practicing and meditating on how to approach Cassie and win him with ease. What? This is what you are here doing. Hi, Nika. Tell me, Feyma, why will I not do it? I have pleaded with you countless times to at least help me talk to Cassie, but you refused. So allow me to do my practice and meditation in peace and don't distract me again. So you are really serious about this nonsense? Eh, Nika? As if I need your permission before doing what I want to do. Do you know me, Nika? I go for what I want. Okay, go first and embarrass yourself. When you're done, you can come back and we talk about it. Oh, is it not better that I try and fail than not trying at all? At least mm. I am bold. I am better than some people who cannot stand that bold to speak their mind. And I'm sure you are not referring to me. I don't know. Don't just distract my practice again. Mm. Please, this is very important to me. It will shock you in time you will run mad. Because very soon, you will run mad because of Cassie. And when that happens, I will remind you that I warned you. Biko, 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 Biko. Continue. Don't even go there, Ife Inwa. At least I am better than you. I have someone I love. Mm. What about you who doesn't have anybody you're loving? And nobody is loving you. My own is better. Please allow me to do my practice and meditation in peace. Yes. This is very important to me. Don't You're distract sick me in again. The head. Hmm? You are very, very sick in the head. What do you mean by you are practicing on how to approach a man? See, Nika, if Cassie is meant for you, he would definitely come around. Stop doing this to yourself. Biasi, I am very hungry. What did you cook in the house? Let's go and eat. Let's go now. When I'm done eating, you cannot come back here and be <laughs> practicing. Let's go and eat. Ah, let I follow you. Why is this girl always a thorn on my flesh? What do you think the others will say when they hear this thing you are doing? I don't understand it, Father. Is it about what people will say or about what makes the only child happy? In as much as I care, Brandy, I care about people of Omanato. My subjects! I can't be the one making laws and still be the one to break them. Well, I do not know of any law, Father, apart from a belief system that has outlived its usefulness. I don't. I haven't done anything wrong. I have not killed anybody. I only told a young gentleman how I feel about him. How is that a crime? I mean, how does that warrant me coming to the Council of Chiefs to explain myself? You don't know what you're getting yourself into, my dear daughter. I mean, how many times are we going to discuss this? I will not say this again. 
My point is clear. It is not done. Father, how about my happiness? It's about my happiness, Father. You don't know this singular act of yours can cost me the throne. Even as I wouldn't want to discuss this whole thing in details. Father, is that what you're bothered about? You don't even care about how happy your daughter is going to be? Here you are. Killing yourself over a man that doesn't even care if you exist. That's not true, Father. He loves me in return. Behaviors like this from you make me to start regretting the untimely exit of your mother. You wouldn't be doing this nonsense if she were to be alive. I don't get it. Are you regretting having me as your daughter? Father, you're going too far. Why are you, why are you calling my dead mother? Why can't I call my wife? Since you have chosen to kill me, I would rather go and stay with her instead of staying in the same house with a disobedient daughter whose only interest is what she feels is right. Nobody cares about me. It's all about the throne, the throne and every other thing. No one cares. Father, listen. I don't know the arrangement you have made about this, but the whole thing is making me sick. Why don't you want me to meet your father? Um, so now we don't meet in your mother, it's not my father? Yes. Of course, that's how it's supposed to be. I should meet your father. Now. I'm his son-in-law to be. I should meet him. <sighs> yes, yes, babe, but we are not meeting my father now. Why? What? Is there a problem? Why can't I meet him now? Why? Don't you love me? Enough? <clears throat> to marry me? Babe, calm down. I'm, I'm calm. I'm trying to be calm. I, I... Meeting my father, it's not a problem. So, why are you trying to make it look like a problem? You're the one who's trying to make it look like a problem, baby. I've been asking for some time, but you keep saying the same thing over and over again as if you're dealing with a child. You're not dealing with a child. If there's a problem, tell me. Honey, look. I... I, I am trying to put things in order, okay? I, I want him to accept you first, before you two commit. Of course you would definitely meet my no, father. No, no, that's, that's the point right there. You want him to accept me first, before meeting me? It, it doesn't add up. It does not add up. Let me meet him. Let me... Listen, if you love me, if you love me enough to want to spend the rest of your life with me, you've got to prove it to me. You've got to let me meet your father. I have to meet him. You already met my mom. I took you to go see my mom because I love you that much. Right? Yes. Babe, I really love you. Okay, but you will not understand what I'm saying until you meet my father, then you understand. I don't see what I need to understand here, baby. Let me meet him. Stop assuming things. Okay? You know what? Let me meet him. Okay? Let me meet him. Whatever happens, we... You know, we, we take it from there. We, we, we go from there. Okay. Fine. You won't meet my father, but I must warn you to get ready for the worst. If anything happens, do not put the blame on me. Okay. I get it, but... Whew. Listen, you know, I... I understand that you... cannot entirely separate rivalry from politics, but I don't understand why your father hates the governor so much. I mean... See me now, I'm caught in the middle of all of this. You know, I'm having to deal with something that I know nothing about. I'm totally innocent, man. It's affecting me. It's affecting us. Huh? You know 
know they say it's only a, a fool that fails to see her relative as someone deserving of Kola. So, I hereby present Kola to you, my dear friend, Mamoka. Amy, if this is your way of trying to bribe me into not saying what I came here to say, it will not work because I'm going to say it. Ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> what could that possibly be? Come, 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 come. I hope you are not here to talk about my son again. Our son, you mean. And we both want the best for him, don't we? Oh, really? And you think that the princess is the best for him, right? Mm-hmm. Why would you want to prevent Okechuku from marrying the princess? <laughs> if I were in your shoes, I'll even push him to marry her myself. Thank God you are not in my shoes. Thank God you are not me and can never be me. Mm. I am me and you are you. Listen, I'm the kind of person that looks at issues critically before I take a decision. So don't think I just woke up and decided. Me listen, my friend. <laughs> I am telling you that you have not analyzed this one critically. Why would you want to prevent Okechuku from marrying the princess? You're making a big mistake. Says who? Uh -huh. I mean, why in this world would you even say a thing like that? Look, listen to me. Point of correction. My son is an already made man. He doesn't need the princess to validate himself in this amanato. He has already validated himself. Don't you know that if your son marries the princess, he automatically becomes the next king of this land? What is even bothering you? Eh? Why are you bothering yourself about this whole issue? Okay, don't you think that the approach she used was a wrong one? I mean, where has it ever been heard of? I mean, how does it even sound to the ear? To fear quoi? She won't start that with my son. Oh. Ah! In him, calm down. Eh? Calm down. We've gone beyond looking at the approach. What we're looking at is the end of this matter. Your son is already great, but marrying the princess will make him even greater. Hmm. Think about it now. What's it going on? <laughs> Please, are you eating the cola or...? Of course I'm eating it, I've started. Because I won't hesitate to take it back. <laughs> hey! <laughs> Why did I know you were so serious? Hey! If, 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 why are you running from here? I'm H, the love of your life. Stop! Who is the love of your life? Me, I did not see me. Better respect yourself. If you want me, let me tell you, if you want I love you, and I want to marry you. Just open up your heart and embrace my love. You will enjoy it. Mm. Amechi. Of all the girls in this village, yeah. it is me, if anyone, that you chose to torment. Yeah. What did I do to you now? I love you. Amechi, please leave me alone. I don't love you. Try I love me. Hey. Amechi, the next time you stop me on the road again, I am going to report you to the king. Hey, you report me to the king? Amechi. See, let me tell you, it's our king that's sitting there. I'm the one that made him who he is. Mm. See, he cannot report me to anybody. If a young one, just open your heart and say, I may take me. I've accepted to marry you. And I will marry you. See, don't mind all those girls oh, that are deceiving you. You are begging me to marry them. But I said, no. I love you for you. Know, I want to spend my life with you for you. Know, and you, just say, I'm a me, take me. Let us see. Stop doing like this. See. Of all the men in this village, mm -hmm. you chose Amechi the drunkard to come and ask my hand in marriage. Is this a cause? Amechi, 
Stay away from me. Hey, look at the way you called me. I'm Echi. Mm. See, call it again. I'm Echi. Stay away from me. I'm Echi. Hey, um, stay away from me. Hey, um, 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 um. I say it again. I will go. I'm Echi. Hey, um, um. You are pushing me. If I want my love, hey, see, let me tell you. Whether I like it or not, I must marry you. In two days' time, I'll come and pay for you. Let me not say that I relax if I don't have money. But I must marry you. Let me report me to you, boy. Greetings, my princess. Greetings, Okichuku. <laughs> the son of Ozonpo Onwudinjo. Ah. A good man. You're welcome. Please be seated. Thank you, princess. <laughs> Honestly, I cannot remember the last time anyone, you know, addressed me. <laughs> like, like that. How come you know so much about me? As the princess of Amanato, am I not expected to know so many? If not everyone. In Amanato. Mm -hmm. ah, princess, if you can prove to me that you know everyone in Amanato, then I will admit that indeed you are great. Anyway, let's forget about that. Now that you're here, we need to talk. Do you have a reason for ignoring my invitations so many times? Ah, my princess, I'm sorry. Very sorry. Any excuse? I do not have an excuse as to why I did not respond to your invitations. But I am here, apologizing, hoping that my apologies will be accepted. Please, Princess. Of course, you're forgiven. You are. Thank you. Um, once again, I welcome you to the Palace of the King. It's a beautiful place. Thank you. <laughs> and I really want us to talk. I want us to get to know each other better, you know? It would be my absolute pleasure to make your acquaintance, my princess. For indeed, you're a paragon of beauty, a gorgeous, gorgeous woman. Thank you. You sure have your way with words. Well, if you say so. I do know, though, that I like to speak my truth at all times. So if you tell me that you like the way that I talk, then I'll tell you that I am glad. Goodness. <laughs> I like you so much. I well, like okay, you. okay, okay, that's <laughs> fine. Can, can, can we at least take a walk? Sure. My pleasure. You, you drink? I'm fine for now. All right. After you, please. Okay. <laughs> Um, that you're squeezing your face will not stop me from telling you the peace of my mind. I am not happy you still went back to the palace after everything I told you. One can we please focus on the issue at hand. Why didn't you tell me that you got a second invitation to the palace? There was no invitation. The princess only sent her guard to summon me and asked me to tell you that she wants to see you. That's all. Could that be an invitation? Oh yes, it is an invitation, Mom. I expect a woman of your caliber to know that that's an invitation. Listen, Mom, the fact that you don't particularly agree with her approach does not mean you make the princess feel less of a woman. That was an invitation you should have just gone there. And why are you trying to make me look bad now? The first time she invited you, did you go? Me, I thought since you didn't go the first time, it wasn't necessary bothering you again. Mother, so I decided to not to disturb you. Mother, mother, I am trying very hard to apply wisdom here because the princess's ego is involved. I want you to do the same. Oh, really? And you feel I have no right to know what transpired between you and the princess at the palace? 
What do you think transpired? Nothing happened. We sat down, we talked. You know, she's cool, she's fun to be with, and that's it. Nothing extraordinary. Oh, I see. I think you're trying to settle down with the princess because I rejected the one you brought. Isn't it? So you think that because you have rejected the one I brought, I have also rejected the one I love? Ozioma remains the one that I want to spend the rest of my life with mother. Why, why, I mean, why do you always, always speak without thinking? I have rejected Ozioma and she remains rejected. You should never be thinking of uh, uh, taking in princess so that at least you become royalty by royal marriage. Ozioma is rejected already. Why does the name Ozioma always trigger something in you? Because I hate her. Up to her background, she has nothing good to offer to anyone. The rejected stone will soon become the chief cornerstone. At least not under my roof. Lucy. Zioma, Zioma, my foot. Zioma can never be my daughter-in-law, no matter how hard she tries. Okay, so right here, that's where I, I got what I'm wearing. Okay. It's one of my designers. Why are you why are you zooming why are you zooming into the guy's page now? You're looking for something to criticize. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so how do I look? I look good? Um my dear friend, can you just calm down and communicate? I, I'm telling you, I, I was trying to show you you were asking that, you know, that I about why you're dressed like this. Uh -uh. Look Tell me. I cannot look good. I mean, this is an ex this is an exception. I mean, why are you looking this good? What's that? Wait. <laughs> Ozema is pregnant, and you've decided to rush the whole marriage arrangement thing, right? Come on, it's a good news you'd have told me. What are friends for? You told me. Hi. Nedu, how are you my friend again? <laughs> what? Uh, okay, Ozioma is not pregnant. Uh, no, she's not pregnant. Okay, yes. Um, I have an invitation from the palace. Yes, from the princess as a matter of fact. So I'm going to honor that invitation later today. And I thought that it would be nice if I looked good as always actually oh yes please i <laughs> i don't understand what you just said please can you say it again you want me to elaborate yes what i'm saying is if you get your head out of where you put it and stop it from wondering you would hear me <laughs> they do they do i am honoring an innocent invitation by the princess. From the palace. I'm going to see the princess. Ah. It's, I'm honest. That is it. Yes. So finally, you're going to see the princess. A woman who is an embodiment of class itself. She has finally swept you off your feet. And you, my friend, you are hell-bent on winning her over. Talk to me about it. Tell me. <laughs> What's wrong? Um, Chinedu, listen to me. I am going to honor an innocent invite from the princess. That's one. Ozioma is still the love of my life, and I'm never going to trade out for anyone else. You've always emphasized on that. <laughs> Who is dragging Ozioma with you? Uh, my concern is that you just get married as soon as possible so people like us can follow suit. Um, 
Well, I actually came here to say hi to you, first of all. Mm. And then, to see if I can bid you to join me for lunch. But it's obvious you have better plans for yourself already. <laughs> With the princess. And it's also obvious that I'll be having lunch alone. Okay, that's fine. So, <clears throat> say hi to the princess for me. Uh, Tell her your boy, Nino, uh, says hi. Okay? okay. <laughs> I think I like this. <laughs> and you look good, by the way. Yes. Your outfit. <laughs> it fits perfectly well. <laughs> I he saves the best for the last. You are stupid. <laughs> Thank you. I'm the princess. They do. You are foolish. Get out of my office. Please get married and pave the way for people like us. <laughs> he feels all the people around him are incompetent and fools. I can't possibly tell him I'm dating someone who is not only close to the governor, but his right hand man. What do I do? I can't accept him. If not, my father will kill me. Do I even love him to the extent of marriage? Yes, I do. No, no, I don't. Yes. Yes, I do. Wait first. Yes. No. Why am I this confused? Oh. oh no. Jasper will come after me if I accept. What do I do? Mm. Ah, the princess is asking for her sins on the room. My dear, I had though. I don't even know how she cope with a man who is almost like a woman. Eh? Even to the extent of a woman asking for his hand in marriage. <laughs> hey, my dear, I still remember when he was born. He was not looking like a woman being. Even his parents never knew he would survive. I'm telling you. Hey, it's like you have this voice history in your head like this. Uh, hey, no. <laughs> See, the mother almost gave up on him. Mm -hmm. She never knew he would survive. Even people were advising her to throw away her child. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. But the mother, you know mothers now, and their stubbornness, she refused. Mm -hmm. And that's how that boy has become what he is today. <laughs> but wait though. Those asking her to throw away her child, they must be fools and saddest. Uh, eh? How could someone even think of such? I don't know. Hey, but we yeah, thank God though that he survived. Mm -hmm. Look at him. He's not a big man in the government. Mm -hmm. eh? And Look at what him and the governor. Both of you really thought your voices were down enough. But I'm sorry to inform you that I heard everything you said. And I'll make sure my son gets the two of you arrested whenever he ah, comes back. Please, I'm sorry, ma'am. We are sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't patronize me with your useless apologies. And you want to know why the princess is asking for my son's hand in marriage? The reason is simple. My son is a special child. Yes, no. And as for what I had wanted to give to you, it has been taken over by your gossip. Ah, please, ma'am. Yes, please, ma please, ma'am. Both of you should leave my house. Ma please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Ma please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please, You get out of my house. Yeah? I was on my please, own. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. Please, ma'am. You want me to call the police now? Eh? Talk, 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 talk. Imagine. She's the one that started you should don't leave you now. If you don't leave now. Will the both of you get out? No, I'm so sorry, ma. But if you have blamed her, don't blame me. Can you imagine? Look at the people that are trying to help their lives. You have the nerves to come into my compound and make my family the topic of your gossip. Rubbish. From what I know now, Ozioma has no class. She is shameless. Janet, yes. how could you say such a thing? What has she done that you are calling her classless and shameless? <laughs> My friend who manages the restaurant, he just called me and told me what she did. You're wasting time with this information. He 
it already. What did she do? Annie, Ozoma came to the VIP restaurant mm -hmm. and met Okechupu, the SSA to the governor, eating with the princess. She decided to embarrass herself. <laughs> Are you serious? I am telling you what is happening here. She thought she was embarrassing the princess, not knowing that she actually embarrassed herself. Can you imagine? But I thought the SSC already said it has nothing to do with the princess. How come are they seen together in a restaurant? Oh, are you the one saying this? You feel once you see two people in a restaurant, they are having something, right? I don't think so. See, what I'm saying is that, call your friend and advise her. Talk to your friend. Sit her down and talk to her. Advise her about life. <laughs> Wait, Janet. Is she no longer our friend? Yes, she is still our friend. But both of you are more friends than me. That's why I'm saying this. She will listen to you more than me. Okay, all right. I, I will talk to her. But, but please, I don't think you should call her that name anymore. I really don't. to have a good time with Cassie. Why will you always be the one to distract me? Which Cassie? Are you sure you are not running mad already? Look at the way you are pushing out your mouth like an idiot. What is this, Nanika? See, if anyone, I was having a good time with Cassie. I don't mind fighting you or anybody that tries putting us under. I have told you! For you to come from somewhere I don't even know to disrupt this case, it's an indication that you're up to something. Up to what? The obvious, of course. You're planning to take Cassie away from what? Me, but it will never work for you. Yes. Can you listen to yourself? Good time. In your dream. Start looking for a solution to your problems very early before it becomes so big. You're the one that has a problem. Mm. Yes. You're the one that has a problem. I know your plans for me will never work. Nika, you need help. I don't need any help. It's you, if anyone, who needs help. Because you need to learn how to start minding your business. I am done with you. How do I even explain these things to her? Hey. What are you doing here? Well, I came to see you for something very important. Really? <laughs> are you surprised? Of course I'm more than surprised. So I wonder that you want to tell me. I came to see you about my friend. She's really in love with you. And I want you to do the needful. I don't understand. I mean my friend Nika. She really loves you. You mean you came all the way from your house just to tell me that your friend loves me? That's very confusing. You don't have to be confused. I just took it upon myself to come and tell you. Because she's becoming so obsessed about you. Well, I don't think that's what you came here to do. Come. You see what you have cost? I just lost my friend. 
I'm so sorry, Fenyuwa. I, I, I didn't know what came over me. I should have controlled myself. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. You are mad. You better go to her and explain to her. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Just when I finally decided to take the bull by the horn and tell him how I feel, this happens. Why will Ifeyinwa do this to me? <laughs> of course I remember, come on. I remember. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, 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 listen. Come on. Can I explain to you? Look, I understand our tradition and I... Believe me, I can write a total essay on it. Everything. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's fine, you win. <laughs> um, uh, can I, can I call you back, please? Yes. Of course, I will. I will not forget. Thank you. Yeah, cheers. Bye. Uh, <laughs> wow, baby. I'm not saying that this happened a while. So tell me, who is that? Um, the princess. What? I thought we talked about it. And you promised not to have anything to do with her. Yes, huh? we talked about it and we agreed that I have nothing to do with her and I have nothing to do with her. We're just talking about the festival. The festival of our people. Really? Yes. Just a phone call. Babe, why not come out plain and tell me you don't even want me anymore in your life? Babe. Can you say a thing like that? Come on, you know I love you so much. Come on. It's nothing. It was just, we're just talking, really. Believe me. Do you love me? Of or you I love the princess? I love you. It's so annoying. How? It's so annoying. What is going on here? What Has it come to this extent? You're really angry. Yes, it has. You're so wicked. Why do you choose to hurt me this way? What did I even do wrong to you? Do you even care how much it hurts? Baby, I love you. I've not hurt you. It was just an innocent phone call. She loved me. Oh, you're rather confused. Just try and sort out yourself. I can't take this nonsense anymore. What just happened? No. No. Like, seriously. Getting all worked up won't solve this. Please, you need to take things slow. Take it easy. And let's find this lasting solution to this. But seriously, girlfriend, you need to step up your game. Accept this guy's proposal if you don't want someone else to snatch him away from you. How? I still cannot believe I will ever find myself in this kind of mess. How did it even happen? You were already in a mess with heart. So you should be thinking of a way to get out of this mess. Why is the princess of Amanato so useless? Of all the men, it's my own Okichu. Oh, I feel like to strangle her to death right now. That girl is so stupid. Do you know I hate her so much, she irritates me. Girl, this is not supposed to be confusing. And even you love this guy this much. I'll find the other guy. Please, just hold it right there. Please, don't even try to upset me the more. Okay? 
even bring up another guy in this kind of matters? You and I know you never loved this guy. I don't even know why you're fighting a woman who really loves this guy. And who told you I don't love him? Did you hear me say I do not love him? Did you? You heard me, sweetheart. Am I lying? Come on, accept this guy's proposal and everything will be solved already. I just... It's not your fault. No, 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 I don't blame you. Of course you can say whatever rubbish you have in your mouth. I don't think this should be confusing you in any way. You know what you want. Why don't you go for it? Oh, please, just hold it right there, all right? I just need to think. Let me think of something. So I need to... While you're thinking, hope you have alcohol of your own because I don't want you facing us as trouble. I don't even know what you're doing here. Please try and remember all we have been through together. I know if I can do a thing like that. Go and marry Cassie. I have left him for you. But you need to hear me out. I didn't do anything with him. I believe you. 100%. Please leave. And never come back again. Nika, it has not gotten to that extent. You're the only friend and sister that I have. Please don't do this to us. You're a betrayer, if anyone. And I can never deal with you. Please leave and never come back. I understand. But it is important you listen to me. You know me. And you should know what I'm capable of doing. You know I can never do this to you, Nika. Please. What is it? Babe. Babe. Hmm, what is it? Baby, when are you coming to see my father? Um. So that right now, um. I have a lot on my table. You know how it can be at the government house, you know, just so much work to do. But I promise that as soon as I clear my desk, I'll, I'll make her time. You know, we'll go see him. Is that okay? You're busy in the office. It's work. Babe, you that I know will leave whatever you are doing in the office just to come see my father. Isn't that what you've always wanted? To see my father, right? So why are you giving me this, this excuse? Why? I ask you, Sam, why? Are you doing this? What are you talking about? I'm confused. Tell me. Is this about the princess? I know you'll make out time to go out with her. But you can't do the same for me. Why? Have I ever stopped you? Our attention. I make out time for you. Huh? I just explained something to you about work and I was expecting that you'll be understanding. Come on, you know I don't take you for granted, baby. Relax. Prove it. Okay, Chuku, prove it. This is the time. Why are you making cheap excuses? Why? Okay. You see, this is not necessary. Let's not argue it. It's, it's not necessary. Don't do it. So I'm being unreasonable. That's no, not... like what I'm saying is not meaningful, isn't it? Look, that's not what I said, okay? And this has nothing to do with the princess. It's get your head out of that place. Look, the princess might be royalty and all of that, but you are special, okay? <sighs> special indeed.
Oh, yes, are you now seeing why I suggested we have to change the man? He is not worthy. Look at the kind of useless contract the man is awarded. The only thing we have with the governor is reminding him of the promises he made to our people during his campaign, of which we have done already. It doesn't concern us who he decided to award the contract. What is it? Is this what you are going to say concerning what I explained to you now? Even when you are looking at it? I don't understand. Chief Isna, so what else do you want me to say? Okay. I have told you that I'm not the government. You, you suggested that we impeach the governor. Is it not the work he promised our people that he is doing already? I don't know what else you want from the governor. Oh yes, from the way you are sounding, I have this feeling you are beginning to feel I am doing this for myself. Oh yes, I am not doing this for myself. I am doing this for the good of our people. Then you are overdoing things. What? Yes. You and I know that no governor has done half of what that man is doing for us in this kingdom. Why are you complaining so bitterly? Well, Onyeze, I'm sorry if this is actually how you feel about this. If you feel I, I have been complaining bitterly, that I, I have been overstepping my boundary. I'm so sorry about that, Onyeze. It will happen again. I promise. Um, by the way, Chief Ismaso, how is work going on in your new project? Well, Onyeze, uh, the project is, uh, the work is going on slowly, not with the kind of speed I had wanted. And the reason is because of my commitment to community development. It has taken all my time that my own private project is now being uh, neglected. But I can assure you, Your Majesty, now that I have uh, taken the community to a, a significant level, I will have time now to start work in my facility again. And trust me, Your Majesty, uh, it is going to be concluded soon. Very important. You have to focus on that facility because it is very important to this kingdom. <laughs> you know, when you speak like this, I feel joy in my spirit. Because it's, it, it shows me that you see far. And that's something you are saying is the reason I even started to put up that facility in the first place. And uh, our young men, we have, they will have the basic things they need. You know, when you provide the basic things for the young men, something like fast internet and the rest of them, yes. they can do wonders. Yeah, exactly. That facility is going to boast of all those things. <laughs> Chief is muscle. Yeah. Man with vision. Yes, konye, konye, konye. I have to grandma. He has even refused to come in to see my father. I like him. He's always happy whenever I call with the stupid girl. You are not serious. How on earth is that possible? I mean, the Okechiku I know would never hesitate to come see your father. You say? I even tried to remind him, but he keeps giving me excuses of having so much to do at the office. That means the guy is still interested in you. How? I know this sounds a bit weird, okay, but this guy still loves you. He really still care about you. But, so please, show this guy love, girl. Give him attention. Give him the love he deserves. And watch him fight for the love you guys share. That was a confusion. I am confused. I do not know who to choose among the two. Confused? You shouldn't be. You and I know Jasper doesn't love you. I do not know what you saw in that guy that is making you wanting to kill yourself over. Look, Okechuku loves you. Accept that guy. Don't say I didn't want you. Oh, please, please just calm down, okay? I am at a critical moment of my life, and I do not want to make mistakes. I don't see anything critical in this. You and I know Jasper doesn't love you. Okay, Chuka is the one that really loves you and is ready to make sacrifices for you. Mm. Oh. Mm. Is that him? Okay, shh. Mm. Um, 
Hello, the love of my life. My main problem is that I wanted him to give the contract to someone else and he refused. I don't know the kind of sham he's using on everybody to the extent that even the king is not supporting him. Who do you want him to give the contract to? I wanted him to give the contract to somebody close to me. You know, uh, somebody I can benefit from. Somebody I trust. I mean, somebody I can control. You know, you know what that means? This is not sounding right at all. Yeah, but it is politics. Politics is not always sounding right. Politics sounds very awkward and that is why people say it's a, it's a dirty game. They see it as dirty. But we don't, we don't see it that way. It is a game. And the men like us who play politics, we play it with everything in us because that is the only thing we know. To make all the money we need in life. That's it. I feel you are still losing this hope of becoming a king. <laughs> you see, eh? with the kind of pressure I am piling on that man, I, I am telling you this thing because I trust you as, as a friend, with the hope that you will not go out there and uh, say what I have told you. Because if you try it, you will fall out with me. I may even kill you. Uh, you, you know it. But that's just the truth. The issue here is that with the kind of pressure I am piling on the king, very soon he's going to develop cardiac arrest and he will die. And once he dies, I will become the king. Look at this place. You see this empty land that I left here? That is where I will put the obi. The obi, where everything will be happening. There. Back and I leave when I am the king. Because he has no son, don't forget he has a daughter. And if any son of the soil marries his daughter, that person automatically becomes heir to the throne. Hey, you see that thing you're saying? It is an unfounded theory that is not tested anywhere. It cannot stand the test of time. Listen, you see that, that his daughter? Forget about her. I know what I am doing. And I'm going to handle her when the time comes. You are here I do. Mine is that I am solidly behind you. Yeah. As a friend. Yes. Yeah. If it has nothing to do with blood shedding. You know, when um, when chicken hearted men speak, <laughs> you will readily know that they are chicken hearted. That's why they will just open their mouth and just be talking anyhow. I am a man. And the men who are men will always go for what they want. You know me, Chief Lydia Mack. I am a man who is a man by every definition of that word. And when I say that I'm going for anything, I am going for that thing. Are you calling me chicken-hearted? No, of course. If you're not chicken-hearted, why will you sit before me and you are expressing this level of fear when it comes to shedding blood? Listen to me. I am the tabby. And if it requires shedding blood, we shed blood. I'm not scared. Okay? I am not in for that one. I cannot do such. Huh? Is that not the reason you are where you are? Look at yourself from head to toe. Had it been you have wisened up and play the politics the way it should be played, do you still think you will be in this level. Hey, will you? Look at, look, look, see, see that SUV there? Your governor, the same governor I disagree with, both in public and in secret. He was the one that sent that SUV to me to calm me down. You who has been licking his ass, what has he given you? Nothing. Nothing. You are insulting me and you know it. Then we are I'll call it. I'll drink. <clears throat> Oh, 
You see, all that time you took to, you know, get all of this together was not in vain. I love what you're wearing. What? Boy, see how you compliment me. Hmm? This is nice, baby. I love it. I love what you're wearing. Honestly, I love it. 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 Mm -hmm. You look beautiful. I wish I could say the same for you. Just look at it. What? What are you talking about? You don't like what I'm wearing? Oh, come on, babe. What are you saying? Huh? See, man. Listen. Red looks good on me. Hmm? I look good. Look at my skin. Look. See how it pops on my skin. Listen, I know you might not agree with what I'm wearing, but trust me, given what I've heard of your dad, he would be happy that I came to see him garbed in an African attire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you feel it's all about my father? For real? Okay, what else do you want me to wear? Like what, jeans and t-shirt? To go and see Chief? Come on now. Huh? I'm in the right opera. I'll tell you. Yeah. One day, he will come back to this house and discover that I've Bunt everything in your wardrobe. Calm down. I'll set them on fire. Calm down. Eh? Just be issuing threats left, right, and center. On a special day like this, you shouldn't be saying things like that. Eh? Eh? Babe, come here now. Eh? You make me feel like taking one before we go where we're going. You're crazy. Yeah, see how you look. <laughs> Damn. Hmm. <laughs> Give me some love. Yeah. Wait. Are you not the SSA to the governor? Yes, sir, I am. I never knew that you are Oziyama's father. Uh, nice to meet you again, sir. Oziyama, what? Is he the one you've been telling me about? Yes, yes, Dad. Um, it's like you two know each other. Oh, oh yes. Um, uh, he came by the office. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Then I don't have to stress myself with the introduction anymore since you both know each other before. Hey. Seeing he is the one you have been telling me about, then we'll talk about this thing later. Dad, why are you doing this to me? I said we are going to talk about this later, please. This man is a uh, baby. Yes, baby. <laughs> that man is my boss's biggest headache. I never knew that he is your father. I'm sorry. So, what happened between you and my father? Oh no, not now, darling. I, I'll explain everything to you, but please, I have to leave now. Please, please, just please, just please, sweetheart, please. Please, let me just... So what do you intend to do about this? Search me, princess. Search me now. For I'm still trying very hard to find an explanation to all of this. I've always known that man. I have always known him. I've always known how shrewd he is. How much he hates the governor. How much he fights to bring the governor down. But what I do not know is that he's the father of Ozioma. A girl that I am planning to get married to. Well, I am not a sadist. I never had a clue that you have been in a relationship. If I knew, I wouldn't have made the move. My princess. You won't blame me now for being here. After all that happened, coming here was the first thing on my mind. Why? Because you are gifted in a special way. You have a calming effect on people. I was agitated. Oh, I was angry when all of that happened today. But I am here now with you and I am calm. It's you, you know? Well, I'm, I'm happy that my little effort has helped. Yes, it has. Princess, 
I hope you don't mind me asking if we can talk about your mission to my house a couple of days ago. That's fine. But I don't, I don't even know why you haven't said anything to me. You haven't said anything yet. So he hasn't compared me to say more. And that is because there's a question that I've been meaning to ask you, my princess. But I've had a hard time asking because I do not want to offend you. But with your permission, here and now, I'll ask. Whatever it is, go ahead and ask. I'm listening. Aren't you seeing someone, princess? With your status as the princess of Amanato, the princess of our land, you must have a man in your life, don't you? Well, I will answer your question directly. I do not have a man in my life. And the reason is that I have to be very careful about the man I choose. Because whoever is going to be my husband, whoever I'm going to choose today, it's not just going to be my husband, but significantly, the future king. Amy, do you know my children rushed that food you gave me to take home? And they refused to touch the one I prepared. Mm -hmm. And you don't know why. You know, the reason is that you add too much spices to your cooking. And your children, at least from the last interaction I had with them, don't like too much spices. Millicent, how will the food taste without the spices? It will still taste good. I mean, very good. Now listen to me. Food is medicine. If you must be told. And it does that function only when it's prepared with natural ingredients. Uh, Mom. Oh, our guy is back. <laughs> Mom. I would like to talk with you privately. Eh, uh, okay. You don't have to worry about me. I'm already leaving. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. He didn't say you should leave. Just wait for me outside. Okay. We are not done with our discussion. Remember? Okay. Now. But, so, how far? God, please forgive me. I am not supposed to be excited with someone else's misfortune. But somehow, this is looking good for me. God, please can you make this work for me? rejection of that ill-mannered girl, you still went ahead to see the father. For what exactly? Eh? And that criminal who parades himself as a political godfather had the guts to insult my only son. Mom, you need to understand that Chief is in our source negative brand of politics. It's not the issue here. I saw Zioma fell in love with her without the knowledge of who her father is. Right now, mother, things are a bit shaky between us. Things are about to hit the rocks. I'm crying out to you and you're talking about the man. Please, let, let's, let's focus on, on, on the issue at hand. Well, for your information, your relationship with that girl hit the rock the very day I told you to forget about her. Mother, please. Don't make me say things that you would not like. This is my life. Oh yeah, I'm not gonna have you impose your ideas on me. This is my life. No, 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 this is not my ideas. These are binding decisions from your mother. Uh, and that girl must be a daft to have thought of getting married to my only son without my consent. Language, mother, language. Please, mom. 
That's my woman you're talking about. Oh, I won't have you talk about her like that. No, please. That's a woman that I'm actually in love with, Mom. Hmm. Respect my emotions. <laughs> you see? Spirits never lie. I never knew she's even the daughter of that wicked devil. Okichuku, my son. Is that not enough to make you think like a normal human being? Mother, do you know that I can actually marry Usioma? Make her my wife and then we leave out of town, never to return. Really? And what kind of a woman will she be? Hmm? After you're married to her, will she not be registered in our Amana Men Assembly? Will I not be the one to go and register that will take her there? You are planning to be installed as an Inze after you're married. Will you become an Inze when you marry a woman that your mother has rejected? Please, okay, Chuku, don't let me say something that will make you feel so bad. Oh, by all means, mother, please, go ahead. That's, that's what you've been doing. Go ahead. Do it. Hmm. Go you ahead, see? mother. Do it. You are trying to kill me before my time, and I'm asking you to go ahead. Do it. Really? So, you, you now have the guts to look at me right at my face and point fingers at me. Hey, okay, Chuku, you see your biggest problem is that you always feel you are now a big boy. Look, let me tell you, you are still the okay, Chuku, that my little boy, and that's what you continue to be! Huh? Oh, God. Hey, my darling. Mm. Hey, please. How, how are you doing now? Just please, I, I am not in the mood for any of this. You know, I've been trying to recover. You have been like this since I came back. You are refusing me from touching you. Is there, is there any problem? There is no problem. It's nothing. Just that... I've been trying to recover. Recover? That means you didn't miss me. I guess it's because of that useless Okechuku, right? Oh, no. No, no, no. Not at all. Jasper, I... I need you to understand that I've been sick lately. I mean, I've been trying to recover. Uh, recover? Sick? As yes. You have already enjoyed yourself with him. But you promised me that you are not going to allow him to touch you. Yes. And I kept to my word. Then why are you refusing me from enjoying this beautiful creature? Why? Jasper, please, just leave me alone. I have a lot going on in my head. I need to think. Please. You need to think. Liar. You made me stay all through without having anything to do with you. Here you are telling me stories. He stayed without having anything to do with a woman. Good. If that's your business and not mine. Alright? You should be thanking me for making you stay without, without spending a time on a woman. I made you stay safe. Enough of your nonsense. Please just leave me alone. Izuama. Me. Jasper. Ranting nonsense. I don't blame you. Jasper, if you're not going to allow me, stay in this house in peace. I will leave this entire building for you. Alright? I will leave the whole house for you. What is your problem? Uzioma, why are you speaking to me in that manner? You, I know, will not delay to get hold of me once I'm back. Oh, I guess the opposite is the case. Keep guessing, if that's the new slogan. Please do not stop me with any of your nonsense. Wow. Uzoma, this is the beginning of what you have in store for me. Hmm? 
wait, 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 wait. Honestly, you're not helping me. How was I supposed to know? I thought what I did was what he wanted me to do. Mm. Knowing full well that women doesn't like to express their feelings directly. See? Your stupidity has cost me my friendship. The only friend that I have. And the fact that you refuse to explain what really happened, Cassie, I will not forgive you. Calm down. I'm sincerely sorry. How can we make things right? The same way you cost it is the same way you make it right. If you please, let's do this together. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry, honestly. This is what you do to every girl that comes around you. Then how come we have not seen you with any girl before? That you have not seen me with any girl before does not mean that I am bad. You never can tell reasons why things are just the way they are. Mm, which things? Do you even love my friend? I sincerely do not want to answer that question now. Forgive me first. How was I supposed to know that your friend loves me? When you came telling me those words, I felt you were, you were indirectly telling me about yourself. Is that why you grabbed me and started kissing me against my wish? The truth about me is that I can't even afford to hurt a woman. Honestly, I am sorry. Then show me how sorry you are by undoing what you've started. me because of the political disagreement you have with okay Chuku and his boss he's not going to be the governor forever and they won't work together forever well i don't know where you are coming from i don't know what they may have told you i don't know why you were badging on me wrecking like this but let me tell you something anybody who has decided in whatever capacity to associate with that mistake we made as a governor should not come anywhere around me do you understand that you know, he is just the SSA to the governor. And what is it that you even have with the governor you've refused to let go? Well, I don't want to discuss that. <laughs> when I want to discuss that, I will discuss it elaborately. But let me tell you something. You deciding to be a fiancé to that, to that hoodlum, who is working for that hoodlum, is a danger in my life already. And I am not going to allow that to happen. Do you understand what I am saying? That you are being unfair. This is not good. Do you even care about my feelings at all? I don't have any business with your feelings. You see that word they call feelings? I don't have any business with that. But I care so much about your well-being. And I am prepared to do everything possible to give you the good life. Because you are my word. And you know it. I doubt. I doubt if you are even my father. Prove to me that I am truly your word. Why are you hurting me? I should prove it to you by endangering my life. By getting killed? Do you even understand what you're asking me to do? Do you understand it? How on earth will my marriage with Okechuku okay, endanger your life, father? You obviously you have been selfish hey. here. Be very careful with the kind of things you say before me. Watch your words. Don't go back. Now, what are you saying? Seriously, daddy? This is not fair. You have never and don't even care about my personal life. All you care about is your politics, your life, you, you want to ruin my life, you want to control me. But let me tell you something, I am done taking orders from you. Now I want to live my life. Listen yeah, to yeah, 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 no, no, you're my friend. I Listen to me. Anymore. I am your father and I will remain your father anymore. Look at you. Of all the men in this state, you didn't see any of them to settle down with as your husband. 
You have decided for a hoodlum that is working for another hoodlum. And you believe I will let you go? Nonsense. I am waiting. Go and come back. I am waiting for you. No, no, no. I haven't told you I never loved Okechukwu. Why do you always say that even? Huh? I say this because I know you too well. I know you better than anyone else. I mean, why are you deceiving this guy into believing that you love him when you and I know you don't love this guy? It's all about some stupid point for you. You don't love this guy and you and I know that. And that to me is wickedness. Who told you? I don't love Okechukwu because I can't remember telling you I hate him. What's your problem? You're like this because I finally decided to hit you with the truth, right? Oh, please. Enough. Right? I've had enough problems for today. Do not add yours. Why must I be the one you always blame in everything? I thought you were my friend. Are you not supposed to support me? I am your friend. Being your friend doesn't mean I should be supporting you all. Uh -huh. What you're doing to this guy is wrong. You are playing with this guy's emotion. Then go ahead and marry them. Why are you always on my neck? Is it my fault that no man is asking for your hand in marriage? What? Did you just say that to me? You, you are just an ingrate. Um, Anne? Anne, I, I, and I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Please come back. Anne? This morning beautiful okay I can see you are in high spirit this morning <laughs> God will surely make it happen for you of course what about the dress I asked you to arrange for me have you done that yes everything is arranged okay fine and um, I do not want a lot of people getting involved in my affair consider it done even my father if he asks you any question find a way to play him I don't even want him to also be involved in it. I'm sorry, my princess. I don't know how I'm going to lie to the king. Why are you acting so dumb? Listen, I never said you should lie to him. I used the word play, which means you should find a technical way to answer whatever question he might ask you. He is part of my resistance. I'm going to find a way to break it my way, though. So for now, do not tell him anything that has to do with me, right? My princess, is this really worth it? What do you mean? Facing all this because of a man who is looking somewhere else. Is it really worth it? He is looking somewhere else because no one has shifted his gaze. I am going to do that. So you do what I have asked you to do and leave the rest to me. Okay. All right. Hey, hey, stop there! Stop there! Stop there! Stop there! Why are you shouting? Huh? Listen, in case if you don't know, this is the house of the Godfather himself. I, I am the Godmother. Says who? And don't come anywhere close to me. Otherwise, you end up in prison. Huh? Eh? I'm only giving you respect. Eh? You have already broken the protocol by pushing me. Eh? I'm waving at you. Listen. I respect you now. Get out. 
Get out! I'm not going anywhere. Eh? Yes. He's misbehaving in this town. Because everyone keeps quiet, he feels he has monopoly of, of nuisance. Tell him that Chief Mrs. Millicent Uzongwa is here. And I am not stepping an inch until I see him. Eh? The ever dynamic, beautiful Chief Mrs. Millicent Uzongwa. What an unexpected visit. You know, it's been really, really been long. How are you today? How dare you? You embarrass my son. Oh, now I get you. You actually pushed your daughter to my son so that you can get him to actualize your devilish plan. Whatever makes you think I am going to allow that? Now everything is becoming clear to me. And it's becoming interesting as well. You know, I felt very disappointed the last time my daughter brought him here to introduce him to me as the man in her life. I never knew he's actually son to the wish like you. Oh, really? like, listen, what makes that imbecile? What gave him the audacity to feel he can be the man in my daughter's life? Not to talk of being her husband? I don't know whatever game you're playing with that lies. But let me warn you. Let this be the first and the last time I will see her come anywhere close to my place. The last encounter was in a hurry. This time, I'm going to rip your flesh off your bones. <laughs> Madam, Madam, get, 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 get out! What is the meaning of that? What, what hey, you Mrs. Su Zongpo, do you actually feel it is a wonderful idea for you to come into my living room to threaten me? Do you think so? I did not come here to threaten you. I actually come to tell you the truth. Pin your dog down here. Let her not come anywhere close to my place ever again. You know how it was the last time. This time around, I will expose you. Hey, 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 come again. I don't know how it happened that you allowed that mad woman to come into my living room to say all the rubbish she said to your hearing. But let me tell you, the next time this happens, I will not only make you lose your job, but I'm going to make you disappear from the planet Earth. Get lost. Not at all. Chief, come down. Forget about her. It's just mere words. You know women and how they can be. They can say unimaginable things at the slightest provocation. So, because I allowed her go free the last time I had land issue with her husband. She now believes she can dare me. Exactly what I'm saying. Just forget about whatever she has said. If you listen to her, you might do something very stupid. She even did America, that woman looked me in the face and told me, Chief is in her son. She told me that I should go ahead and do my worst. Chief, I know why I'm saying this and forget about her. Let's focus on something that is more important. What is more important than a woman coming to my own house to insult me? She looked me in the face and she insulted me. Listen, I am telling you, you see that woman? I am going to play a very deadly music for her. The kind of music that she cannot dance. I don't care. I have no business with what we, what people will say. 
She told me that I should go ahead and do my worst. Let me tell you, I am going to do that my worst. Mr. Susan Kwa is not a pushover. If you will listen to me, leave her alone. Did she listen to anybody? When she came here to insult herself and not me, she did not listen to anybody. Therefore, I am not listening to anybody either. She went to the Amaka. You see that woman? I am going to ground her to a heart. Please. What do you want to explain to me? Do you want to tell me that kissing Cassia was a mistake? Or going to his workshop was a mistake? Answer me. I know that kissing Cassia was the wrong thing to do. But what I went to his workplace to do in the first place is what you need to hear. Don't judge me yet until you hear every part of the story. Okay. I am ready. I want to hear the lies you want to pour into my ears. What I'm about to say now is nothing but the truth. Okay? Please start talking. But first, I have important things to do. Okay. Um. Well, I wasn't there, but I've been briefed about what happened. And are you going to defend your friend again? How can a lady go around town embarrassing herself? She should go and thank her staff that the princess did not lock her up. Lock her up? Why? I mean, Ozema already realized her mistake and has apologized. Apologized? <laughs> Why would she go to the princess where she was sitting all alone in a restaurant and accuse her of waiting for a man? That is irresponsible. Well, Truth be told, I never knew that restaurant belongs to the, the royal family. Yes, it belongs to the late queen. And the princess is the one in charge of it now. The princess was actually sitting on her place of work. And Uzoma just walked from nowhere and showed her stupid character. Can you imagine? You know, the problem I have with you, Janet, is when you see Uzoma, you do shut up. You don't say anything. I mean, if you strongly believe she's doing something wrong, can't you sit her down and talk sense into her? Talk sense into who? I can only talk to someone who is ready to listen and not someone who you tell something, the person will do another thing. I don't even know why Almighty Okechuku is still wasting time on her. She doesn't want it. <laughs> what nonsense? What nonsense? Really? You, you, you just needed to have seen how that stupid girl spoke to me. She, she insulted me as if I was a nobody. Of course you are a nobody compared to her. What do you expect when you go about challenging people above you and even in a place of business? Come on, girlfriend. Point of correction. She's not above me. And I never knew the late queen is the owner of that old godforsaken dungeon of a place. Oh! That's what happens to ignorant people. When you go about doing things without asking questions. What you what were you even looking for in that place? I am Chief Isunasa's daughter. I can go anywhere. Get that into your head. Nonsense! That's this is thing. rubbish! You don't get it. She has a name. Princess. Ugunne of Amanato. You don't. You rely on your father's name for relevance. Hmm. That's not good. Really? Mm -hmm. Who does that? And why are you even insulting me? Why? I am not insulting you, girlfriend. I'm simply telling you the truth. The truth that no one else will be bold enough to tell you. Really? You are even lucky Okechiko hasn't even said anything to you. So please, allow things flow. Wow. For real? Who does that? Tell me. Intelligent people do that a lot. Oh, your lucky Jasper is coming back soon. If Okechiku doesn't marry you, Jasper will. So please, be coming down, okay? Don't let this bother you. Mm. It's not your fault. It's not your fault because I keep blaming myself. I don't know why I, I, I keep calling you when things go wrong. 
when you've proven yourself not to be reliable. Girlfriend, you know you owe me a lot. If not for me, you would have committed blunder and probably ended up in prison. You should thank your stars you've got a friend like me. And where are you going to this girl? is crazy. Really? Ozioma! Ozioma, calm down. Be coming down, okay? Uh -huh. Be coming down. You know, you have to tell me about what is going on with you. There is something certainly wrong. And like they say, two heads are better than one. This one, this one is confusing. Just a uh, very tight spot here. Been trying to figure out, you know, how best to, to deal with this, but nothing is registering, you know. Seems to me like the more reason you need to share. I mean, let's talk about it. Nadu, how would you feel if I tell you that um, that I'm falling for the princess? No, I won't. You know, I, I knew it from the one. Well, for me, it's a good development. Is it? Have you told her how you feel? No, of course not. How can I do that? I'm still in a relationship with those young men. How can I possibly... No, come on now. I can't do that now. Listen, I know guys do this, you know. They have relationships with multiple women, but I, I can't. It's not my style. I'm a one woman man. If I'm in a relationship, I'm in a relationship, you know. Yeah. And you feel you are in a relationship. What do you mean? Of course, I'm, I'm in a relationship. You believe you're in a relationship. You're in a relationship with someone you know obviously doesn't love you. Come on, bro, now. You're better than this. Listen, you have to use your head. For a woman of the princess's social status to ask a man out, to me, it's a great deal. And I will advise you to jump at it. Don't let it sleep. Don't uh, Nadu, you know, you're painting this whole situation in the wrong colors just so that Ozioma can look bad, but... Is it really that bad? Are you not feeling something for the princess? Haven't you fallen for her? Well, I'll give you this advice as your friend. Just one advice. If you fail to make the right choice by being with the woman that is right for you, and then you go ahead and making the wrong choice and choosing the wrong woman, listen, you will have a lifetime to regret. Okay, that's enough, Nidu. This whole talk is beginning to make me uncomfortable. We can talk about some other things, please. Call Ozioma. Tell her you're not with the princess. Just call. What? Then do I? Simple. Why would I do that? Why? Why? Why would I? Is that not what you want? How can I just say that? Well, is that not what you want? Listen, I'm a blunt person. This is what you want. You want a woman that will give you peace, bro. And this is exactly what the princess presents. So call that girl and tell her you're with someone else. It's as simple as that. Hey, sentiments aside, is it not 
better Okechuku marries the princess than the daughter of that chief Izuna so that we know what she represents. Why will you even say a thing like this? Eh? Why will you even say, why will you even say such, such, such a thing? And you call, and you're supposed to be my friend. Have you not been following up, up on rumors from our people on the news that the princess was the one that proposed to my son? Ah, what has that got to do with anything? She is a woman of substance and she has made her move. That does not reduce her quality at all in any way. Uh, don't preach to me, oh? Don't just preach to me. I've already told my son he will not get married to a cheap woman. Ha! Cheap woman? How at, from where did we start talking about her as cheap? How did we conclude that she's cheap? Because she found a man attractive and approached him. See, if Okechuku has started liking her, let him go for her. There's nothing wrong with her being the one that approached him. What is even your own of this matter? What's your own? You sound as if my, my son picked you up as, a, as his advocate or, or, or his solicitor. What is your own? You know, I wish he did, but he didn't. If he had picked me, I would have gladly represented him. But you see, in this particular matter, I picked myself to represent him of my own accord because Okechuku is a good man. A truly good man indeed. And he deserves the best. And the princess is the best. Mom. Is everything okay? <laughs> Since I came here, you've been somehow always in case you know the are you are you okay? Everything is okay. I have noticed uh, the closeness between you and the princess, and I want to. You want to know if what if I've started liking her? <laughs> That's why you've been this way. Eh? Eh? Ben, do you know as if somebody died? <laughs> mom, 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 mom. You think you have your ways with me, okay? <laughs> uh, well, to answer your question, yes, I am. Uh, is it that serious? <laughs> <laughs> uh, for the relax, first time, relax. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> relax. Please just talk. What? Okay, yes, I like her. Really? Yeah, I. We've gotten close. Now I know her better, and I must say that I am beginning to develop feelings for her. Are you serious about this? Yes, ma'am, I'm serious. I, I've been having a hard time with um, Ozioma. And I've been enduring. Honestly, ma'am, I think I have endured enough and I have decided to to give my heart a chance somewhere else. Wow. Wow. Well, if this is what you want, then you have my blessings. Are you serious? Yes, you have my blessings to go for the one that gives you peace. Yes. Mom, you're joking, right? Ah. <laughs> I am not joking. I said you have my blessing. Go ahead, marry the princess. Mom. You don't believe me. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't believe you. You better do. You are serious. <laughs> ah, mommy, I love you for this one. <gasps> Thank you. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I heard you say you loved me. Because you've been giving me a hard time, that's why. <laughs> but, but, but seriously, mom, you're serious. Of course, I am. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ah, you're thank welcome. you so much. You're welcome, my dear son. You see, you are my world. You mean everything to me. So, it is my duty to ensure that you are always comfortable. And one more thing. What? If you need my assistance in any way, please don't hesitate to tell me about it. I, 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 no, no, this is not working. <laughs> this is not working. What is not working? No, are you, no this is you talking, mom. Well, if I need your assistance in any way, I should let you know. This is me. No, something happened. No, something. This is, this is Millicent. 
Mommy, oh, somebody is impersonating you right now. Oh, stop it. I'm not joking. Like, I have never seen you this supportive, but it's okay. I'll take it. Don't you think it costs for celebration? But of course, I know we'll get to that, but this is a rare moment in my life, Mom, hey. where you allow me live my life and, and do what makes me happy. Come on, Mom. Eh? You want to be celebrated, will you? I will take you out. Mom! <laughs> sit down, sit down, beautiful daughter of mine. Daddy, are you okay? You scared me over the phone. I thought something must have happened to you. Nothing happened to me. I am absolutely okay. I called you because I want us to talk. <laughs> right. I sincerely feel there's something you're hiding from me that you need to tell me. Well, I am not hiding anything from you. Uh, but what I need to tell you is that I... I want to find out. I want to ask you if actually you are serious that you want to spend the rest of your life with this young man who is a political lackey to the incompetent governor. You really want to spend the rest of your life with him? Dad, why give him those damaging qualifications? Yes, I love him. <laughs> you are telling me you love him? Well, I have um, discussed extensively with almost all my political associates and they are united in telling me that I have no reason whatsoever to allow my politics to interfere with your love life. You mean it? Uh, I, I understand. What that means is that um, I have given you my approval to be with the one you love. Oh, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. See, see, that makes you happy. You know, I... I promised your mother that I will do everything that will make you happy and I don't want to disappoint you and your mother. Well, Dad, I love you. You're the best dad in the whole wide world. Everybody should say, Dad, I love this old boy. <laughs> I love you. Thank you so much, Dad. Dad, thank you. <laughs> no, no. Dad, you're just the best dad. You know, you know, contrary to what you believe, that I don't, I don't, uh, you know, get involved in your in your mothers, that I don't have your interest at heart, all those things are not right. You are my one and only daughter, and I love you absolutely. I love you too, you <laughs> old boy. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Forget about it. Um, Dad, I'm coming, I need to tell him that's good news. Oh my God, finally. <laughs> Dad, what happened? 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 I must conclude what I started. Now he will have a reason to concentrate on my daughter and leave the princess alone. because my father did not approve our marriage. Finally, he did. And you're not even happy about it. Well, of course I'm happy. I'm happy about it, darling. Come on, don't say that. I'm happy. You know, I'm just... Um, I'm just surprised that, you know, he suddenly changed his mind. I'm just, I'm just trying to get used to it, you know. But I'm, I'm okay. I'm happy. Well, my dad is amazing. I... I mean, I am happy we're getting married. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy too. I'm very happy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, what next? Uh, what exactly did you say to your father to make him change his mind? Nothing. Nothing? I swear. Um, he called me to come over and I arrived before him. When he finally got back, boom! He just broke the goodness. Mm. Mm -hmm. My father said, 
Yes, go ahead and marry him. And <laughs> we're getting married. Yeah. Huh? Mm -hmm. uh, so, tell me, what's the next plan? Where, what, what do we do next? Where... Oh, yeah. What next? My mother. Oh. Yeah, my mother. You know, just like your father was a factor. Yes. My mother is a factor as well, so you'd have to give me some time. I need to talk to her. Bring her into the picture. <laughs> yes, your mother. Your mother. <laughs> but this calls for a celebration. Hmm? Yes. 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 Please go to whoever that sent you and tell them you lost me. I will kill you. Hmm? You will kill me. See, I love it. It's better I die in your hands than to die miserable life. See, if, I, if you kill me, I will be very, very happy that I die in the hand of the woman I love. See, let me tell you, I'm not shouting. Just let me marry you. Amechi, I don't love you. You cannot be my husband. Go away, please. See, see, see. see. See, I will not stand up here. <laughs> I will not stand. I will, see, I will not stand up here. This is fair, normal again. Eh? I will stay here. Continue sitting down here. The people that sent you, come and bring you up. Do it. If you want, is that how we can do that? Hey. See, if you want, if I had nobody in this village, nobody will marry you. In fact, I will tell people that you have HIV. I will give you a bridge and have a time. Can you just pick up at least and tell her you will not be making it tonight? What? Come on now, I can't say that to her. I have conscience. And I doubt if you have one right now. Listen, you have to make up your mind. I would have opted to help you, but in this matter, it is only your decision that counts. My decision? Oh. Ooh, what a time to make a critical decision, because I'm confused, I'm tired. I'm... My head feels like it's going to explode, because I don't know why everything is happening all at once. I need help, you know? And unfortunately, I cannot offer that help. I have done what any friend or brother can do. I know, it's not your fault. But come to think of it, your mother has even made this whole thing easier for you by helping you choose. I don't understand why you are still insisting. I also don't understand why you all choose to see Ozzy the way you see her. That girl is an angel. I'm serious. Look, I just have to be careful not to not to settle with the wrong one. Who? I'm scared. I'm worried. You know, Ozzy Oma may not be a bad girl, but she's certainly not the right choice for you right now. Come on, man. She's a gold digger. Come on. Nedu, come on. Now that's below the belt. How can you call her a gold digger? That girl has been supporting. She's been there with me and for me all this time. Supporting me. How is she now a gold digger? See, I really wish you think about this. Like, really think about it. And remember. You are the one who will spend the rest of your life with whomsoever you decide to choose. Yeah, no, no. Not me, not your mother. That's true. you said that to me about a thousand times. Remember, whoever it is that you choose to be with, you're going to have to live with. Choose wisely. Be careful. I know. I get it. Can you at least slow down? Stop saying that to me. Please. I'm under pressure here. I'm tensed. And she keeps calling. Then pick up. 
No. Pick up and tell her you can't make it. She will be hurt. And you think she's not already hurt by your silence? You know what? I think we've we've bothered about this issue for too long. Make up your mind. Make your decision. I think I will honor it. But right now, I'm off. So, it's gonna be like Ozioma is an asshole. Do you take this man, Okechuku, to be your lawful wedded husband? And I said, yes! <laughs> oh my god! I'm just so happy. Oh. So, what happened to the princess now? Do you know you surprised me? Why can't you be happy for me? For what? for you when I know you're busy destroying someone else's life. The way you are all bothered about the presence in this case, I wonder if you're on my side at all. Of course I am on your side. But truth be told yet again, you never loved this guy. You're only dating him because of his money. And here is a girl who truly loves him beyond anything. Enough. What nonsense are you for meeting? Oh, I see. You are the spy the princess sent to monitor my life. So tell me, how much did she pay you? I could double it for Stop you. it. Stop it, Ozuma. You're insulting me. Uh, What's the meaning of that? Are you serious? What are you saying? Look who is talking. What do you even know about love? Have you ever been loved before? No. Have you ever seen... Have you ever seen someone to love you before? No. Here you are, preaching to me about love, about something you don't even know, you have never experienced it before. <laughs> you are a loser. That's it. I may not have loved before, and I may not have been in a relationship before, but I am definitely not heartless like you. I have conscience, which is why I won't support you to do what is evil. Oh, please, please, please. Stop it! This is my life. So you will allow me to live it the way I want. Of course you are living it the way you want. But just so you remember, this guy doesn't deserve what you're doing to him. Leave him, let another woman who loves him beyond anything have him. Where is this coming from? Hmm? Have I ever told you that I don't love Okechuku? You were the one making up that story, not me. Okay? Tell me. Do you love him? If you love him, just tell me, okay? You don't have to be jealous. Just wait for your own to come. Hey, okay, Chukwu and I are getting married. So, do not put any asunder. Me, put asunder in your relationship. <laughs> what have I not seen in this world? Ozioma, do you realize you're talking to me? Yes, I know. What will you do? What about that? She can't do anything. You remain here, you're a loser. Really? I know you too well. This is how you're brewed. You say things about people anyhow you want it. You can say anything you like. That is none of my business. I say you want to spoil this precious moment for me. As usual. Hell no. I will not allow you to do that. Because I'm so happy. Okay, Chico and I are one. <laughs> Look, I am trying so I'm not to get furious. I know you. You've always been like this. So I'm not going to get upset about this. You can say whatever you like. That's your business. You didn't pick your call at all. You kept the whole royal household waiting for you. You should have told me that you were not coming. I'm sorry, Princess. I... Something that required my attention came up. I... Is that how less you care about me? Is that it? You shouldn't have done what you did, Okichu. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I know that there is nothing I say now that can possibly make up for, for this error. I'm sorry. 
Please. So what was that you said you wanted to tell me? Oh, um... I have taken care of it. So, what about my proposal? Um... <clears throat> you see, Princess... You see what? The... You're not interested? No, go ahead and tell me. Spew the bean. Talk to me. I thought you were different. You're not man enough? I am man enough. Then prove it to me. If you're man enough, prove it to me. Stand for what you believe in. The truth is that I have someone in my life, Princess. We've been together for a very long time and I love and care about her a lot and I can't hurt her. I'm sorry, Princess, but this is beyond how I feel about her. Um, it's also about my principle. I have a lot of respect for women. And I cannot find it in me to, to hurt her. I see. It's... Okay. I... I hope I didn't make a big mistake choosing you. I just hope so. I mean, you... You're here telling me that you're in a relationship and you both love each other. Do you even know what love is? Oh yes, I do. I do. No, you don't. I'm not sure you know the difference between loving and being loved. Oh yes, I know because I know that I love her and she loves me too. Really? I just hope you don't regret this. I will not regret it, Princess. For I know how I feel about her and how she feels about me. I'm sorry. I understand. It's no big deal. I mean, the fact that I propose to you does not necessarily mean that we're going to end up together. I mean, it's not, it's not a must. I can't force myself on you. I can't force you to, you know, I can't, I can't force it, it's fine. Um, it's okay if that's what you want. It's okay. Yes. This is what I want. I am not going to force you to love me, Mr. Okwejuku Uzonkwo. I wish you the best of luck in your newfound love. And trust me, in truth, I'm never going to use that against you. Pretends to be okay with what you said, but I know deep down that she's hot. So if you can try and talk to her one more time, I mean, she needs us to sell through the storm. Thank you. Uzoma, you think you can wake up one morning and tell me it is over? Eh? Who the hell do you think you are? Just why you need to calm down, okay? I only told you I am getting married to him. Not like we're even married yet. You're getting yourself worked up. Oh. This is how you want to push me out of your life. Simply because you have seen money, right? I mean, it's not what you're thinking. You just need to be calming down. Don't, hey, no, 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 no. Don't come up with that defense. For I know what is running through your mind already. Oh, you feel he has made money in government. You now want to leave me and go for him. Jasper, you're twisting this thing too far. I, I took that decision because I don't want my case to suffer. Jesus. Uzioma, so I am the one that will make your kids suffer. Uzioma, I am now bad luck. Me, Jasper, 
I swear to God, you will suffer. Mm. I will deal with you. Aguamua. Jasper, you are taking this thing too far. We are both outdoors. This is what we can actually iron out without anybody getting hurt. You are saying this rubbish when you are already hurting me. Uzioma, you have been playing with my emotions all this while. Hmm? No, no, I've never played with your emotions. We are matured. You are mad? Yes. You are mad. You are such an ingrate. I promise you, you will pay for this. Jasper, let me tell you. For the fact that we're not going to end up together as one, just know me you won't find someone better than me. All right? You need to stop threatening me. I didn't kill anyone. I didn't. I, I made that decision because it's best for me. We're not compatible. You, you, you can't take care of me. There's no problem. I will see how far you will go on that path without me. Now, if you don't mind, use this to and get out of this picture. Come on, see my boy, sir. I said leave, leave my house. I... Use this to and leave my house. <laughs> I hope you remember how you did it before. I want you to do it again. The same thing. Chief again? You know, this that was years ago and I did it because I was desperately in need of money. Why? I... I, I I'm still trying to come out of the guilt of the one I did before. And you're asking me to do another one. I can't do it. Mamoka, you will do it. Oh, yes, you will do it again. Else, you will leave me with no other option than telling everyone that you were actually the one who killed him. Chief, why are you talking like this now, when you were the one who, who gave me the potion? Besides, I can't poison her. She's my friend. I, I have done enough damage to her family by, by killing her husband. She doesn't have to suffer, suffer the same fate. Please. You are just sounding as if you have a choice. We are already involved in this together and the only way forward is for you to continue with what you have been asked to do. Keep doing it until we achieve the desired result. What have they even done to you? What they did to me is not your business. Okay? They have done the one they have done and we are doing the one we are doing. Uh, do not try to make me remember the other side of me because if you push me to the wall, I will not hesitate to tell the king that you were the one who murdered the man. And I will make sure you are arrested, prosecuted, and humiliated in Amanat. Would you want that to happen? Why are you avoiding the question, Chief? You, killing the husband is not enough for you. Now you also want to kill kill my friend. What what did she do to you? Well, uh, I told you what, they, what she did is not, it's not her business. They did the one they did, and we are doing the one we are doing now. And I'm telling you that you have to continue <laughs> until we achieve our desired result. Are you ready or not? Well, you, you cannot be threatening me with telling the king when you're the one that, that sent me. That will be your word against mine. I believe you understand what that means. How are you going to prove it that I was the one who sent you? Who was there when I sent you? Listen, if you open up to anybody involving me in any way, the way I am going to twist this thing, even your children will be affected in this town. I want you to understand that you have a, you have a very serious secret. Allow that secret to remain a secret. Are you ready? Chief, 
I will try. But I hope you know that you have destroyed my life by luring me into this. Come on, woman. It is for the money. Money answered all things. It is actually written in the Bible you read, and it is my best verse in the Bible. You will do it, and you will see the money. Yeah, my beautiful daughter. <laughs> I am actually suggesting that um, you bring your fiancé uh, to my house for dinner, so that we can have dinner together. Uh, you understand that uh, I want us to start to get to know, you know, understand each other very well, if you know what I mean. Daddy, that would be wonderful. But the governor already invited us to a get-together party he's holding this weekend. And he, he's also requesting for me to be there so he will get to know me. <laughs> That's very nice. Actually wonderful. You know what? I am then suggesting uh, you bring him that weekend for the dinner. At least from here, both of you can then go for the, for the governor's party. Listen, I need to apologize to him for what happened the other time. Uh, you know it is it is right for me to do that, right? All right, Daddy. I will let him know. <laughs> and that's all right, my dear. All right. Bye, Daddy. Bye. <laughs> Nobody dares me and goes scot free. You all will go like your father. <laughs> nothing, nothing will stop it. My brother, <clears throat> the worst part now is that I have used all the money huh? she gave me before I got deported. I was hoping that the business would progress. But see, I won't ask you. Is she aware that you are deported? Hey, maybe. You know, because I don't know how to go to Calcare. Am I mad? You know, because I'm going to add my report to Gamuke. My brother, just the, you know, just the, find some stories just the, to play with her intelligence. You know, I know you know, so, so, what's your plan now that she's about leaving? Leave me. Moi. Bari, are you the one saying this? Who's your man leave me? I am the one meant to leave her. Not all that way around. One day, for all my years, in Nabod in Gunelua, Nabot in Amadwe, no girl has ever left me. So her own case will not be different. You understand? I am meant to leave her, not the other way around. You understand? So she is stuck with me. She is stuck with me. She is going nowhere. One day. Jasper. Jasper. Hmm? What is the plan? What is the way forward? Jasper! That's for the great man. <laughs> you see why I call you my man? No gear can mess with you. Maybe you can. Who is she? Mwe kuke. So mwe kuke wa yos de, yos de, yos de, yos de, try to upgrade. Me me and her will yos de mengri mo de hajeli ye. She yos de one come begin de one or two. Jasper. Chop knuckle. Ka ha, na ma mwe na ma yu. Chop knuckle. Ka ha. Chop knuckle. Now my G. Now normal routine. Normal routine. Now the usual routine. Man of the people. <laughs> Jasper, Jasper. For the people and, and for, for the, the people. <laughs> <laughs> mom, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing, Mom. I don't like it. Come back here. You will never marry that, that, that daughter of a girl. She can never be a part of this family. Why? What has that girl done to you? What has she done? If, even if you don't like her father. It doesn't make her a bad person. She's even worse than her father. If you don't know, she's worse than her father. In fact, you can't marry her. You will have to kill me first. Mom, stop now. Huh? Nobody's killing anybody. Just stop. It's okay. 
It's not okay until you tell me you are not going to marry her. How can I say something like that to your mother? I'm in love with Ozioma. I can't tell you that I, w that I won't marry her. Mom, oh, come on. Come on. You must leave her. You must leave that girl. Yes. Did she charm you? Tell her that that charm will not work. That charm will not work. Oh, it will not work. It's too small for my son. Yes. You can't marry her. You're taking this too far, Mama. You're taking this too far. Get up. Get up, please. You're, Mama, you're embarrassing me. What if somebody walks through the gate and sees you here? What difference does it make? You want to kill me, so I want to make it easier for you. I am not getting up from this ground. I am not! Mom, nobody's killing anybody now. Get up. Stop talking about death. Nobody's killing anybody. Get up. Let everybody come and see that my son wants to kill me. Let them come and see. Mom, stop I talking. will not get up from this ground until you tell me you have changed your decision. How can it? Okay, get up. We'll talk now. We'll, at least we're dialoguing. We'll, we'll talk. I will not. Mom, get up now. Until you promise me you're not going to marry her, I will not get up. Hey. Mom, get up now. What are you doing on the floor? Get up. Oh, yeah, just kill me so that you can marry her. Nobody's killing anybody. Get up. I am not getting up. Get up first. I will not. Get up now. Nah, we'll sort it out. Just get up first. Get up. Eh? We're dialoguing. So we'll, we'll sort it out. Mom, get up. You want to you kill me so that you can marry I'm her? I'm not now. killing you. Get up. Oh, no. Nah. Go. No, the, you, 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 the problem you can. Mom, get up now. Ugonna, my princess. You know you are the only thing I have left in this life. Please stop punishing me this way. My princess. Adam. Adam, please say something that I may know that you are alright. You can't continue doing this to yourself over a man that doesn't care. Father, leave me alone. Leave me, since no one cares about me. Not even you, my father. What do you want to tell me now? Please, don't talk to me. I don't want to talk to you, please. Okay, 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 dear. I will do whatever you ask of me if you will open this door now. What else can you do for me? No, tell me, father, what else can you do for me now? When the only man that I have ever loved has left me. Sweetheart, that he left doesn't mean the world has to end. Stop doing this to me. I know you also love me. And I know you would like me to be alive. Stop tormenting me, please. But don't tell me that. For the world has ended already. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to no one. In fact, I want to die. I don't want to live anymore. Your mother will not be happy with you. Stop this thing you are doing, please. Father, I said leave me alone. I want to be left alone. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to. You are punishing me for another man's sin. And you know there is another person out there who will love, cherish, and honor you. It mustn't be that man you are dying for. He has chosen his path. I don't want any other man. I already told you people who I want. I don't want any other man. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to no one. Leave me alone. Please open this door. I promise we will sort this thing out. Huh? We'll sort it out. Open the door, please. <laughs> well, I must... I must say, indeed, you are a lucky man, Thank and you, I, I commend your, your maturity and your gentility. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, sir. <laughs> well, I gathered both of you are attending the governor's party from here. Uh, oh, yes. Left for me, I would have said, uh, both of you, you, you stay back. You know, we have just had dinner. Uh, let us just stay back and drink something nice here, you know, to push it down. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but I understand uh, it's a bit late already and uh, you need to be running along. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, especially for everything. And so I come. And allowing us to do this. Thank you very much, sir. I, it, absolutely, I want the best for my daughter. And uh, I believe I, I know the best when I see one. <laughs> 
Yes, sir. Mm. And I, I, I saw how believe you are the best. I hope I'm not making a mistake. You're not making a mistake. I am the best. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can see the love both of you share. Yes. It's absolutely very strong. It's very glaring, and I'm hoping it remains like it. Of course, so we're doing our best <laughs> to ensure that. that it remains this way, right, baby? Yes, baby. <laughs> and one more thing. You see, this is my daughter here. She is the only thing I have. And any act of inflicting pain on her is an act of inflicting pain on me. I, I, I believe you know what that means. I understand that, sir. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, Dad, we're running late. Okay, I'll be fine. So I, uh, we don't miss the party. I hope you're not forgetting anything. Oh, no, 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 not at all. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. You, you enjoy yourself. I am not going to ask you to extend my greetings to the governor because he may not like it. We understand that. Oh, daddy, let's go. Take care, daddy. Okay, then. All right. Bye, daddy. Have a wonderful, okay. very wonderful out. Good. Cassie, I love you so much, and I want to promise you that, even in my next word, I will forever love you. As for Ifeyuma, my best friend, she betrayed me. She took away the man I love. Today, let me beg for love. Nika, wait. Nika. <laughs> Just leave me alone. I'm going leave with him. Why are you acting as though you care? Nika, I swear. I didn't go to him because I wanted to take him away from you. I did because I saw how much you truly love him and I wanted him to know. Don't help him. What do you Did he tell you that? Yes, he did. He confirmed it to me. When did he tell you that and you never told me? I have been trying to tell you, but you never gave me the opportunity to. Tell me about it. I, I, I want to hear everything. You mean, Cassie said that to you? Was it serious or was he joking? He can't joke with a thing like that. He said he wanted to approach you, but he was scared due to rejections from so many girls. So you see, you don't even have to kill yourself. You mean, Cassie said he loved me. And what am I doing here? Calm down. He needs to come to you, and not you going to him. You are the lady here. So, am I forgiven? Of course, yes. This news is everything to me. Let me go and get something first. I'll be right back. Okay. Oh, Zoma, you really need to calm down and explain what you're trying to say. What? What did she say? Eh? She, she said something about... Okay, Chico fainting and rushed to the hospital. Fainting? Wait. Which Okay Chico are you talking about? Same Okay Chico you know. The SSA to the governor. Are you serious? Why will he faint? Hi, such an energetic man. Why will he faint? Are you asking me that? Yes. How do you expect me to know? She just called me and said he fainted. Nothing more. What are we going to do now? Nothing. There is nothing we can do. Ozioma has done the right thing by taking him to the hospital. Let's pray he survives. Yes. But why would this guy just suddenly faint? Why would he faint? Eh? Why would he faint? Anne, 
Are you sure this guy didn't take all these useless drugs just to impress your friend on bed and ended up fainting on the arts? Can you just shut up? Shut up already, please. If you don't have something reasonable to say, just shh. I should shut up. I didn't do anything to him. I love him, I so said I won't do anything. Mama, please. You are being a devilish daughter of a devilish man is more than anything. Go and tell your father that I have not finished with him. I am coming for him. Oh, you people think you can kill him before his time? Never! Oh, Mama, please, stop embarrassing me. Stop it. I didn't do anything to him. I love him so much. Please, Get Mama, don't, there. don't ask me to leave him. Let me by his side. I can't leave him like this. My love. My leave my son me. alone and get out! Mama, please. I know I can never do anything to him, please. Mama, please, let me just stay. My love. <sighs> get out of this place. Are you not hearing me? Get out of this place, oh. Madam, please, you have to calm down. This is a hospital. No, 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 no. You should tell her to get out of this place. She is responsible for whatever has happened to my son. She and her father. They are evil people. It's all right. I'll, I'll leave. Leave! Please. Tell him I was here when he wakes. I will. What are you still doing? No, I'll, I'll, I'll throw her out by myself. Madam, please, you have to calm down. She was equally sick when they came here. But now she has gotten better and I'm sure your son will too. You see these people, they are evil. They can deceive you, but they cannot deceive me. I am going to deal with all of them. Madam, calm down.
happen? They poisoned my son. They poisoned him. How? <laughs> eh? Stop crying. It's okay. Go and sit down. Hey! What happened? Poison? Hi! It's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. Nothing will happen to him. You hear? Hey, it's okay. Stop crying. Stop crying. Huh? What Hi. did I do to them? Okay. What wrong did I do to them? You didn't do anything. Am I the only one in this world? You didn't do anything. I'm the only one. You didn't do anything. They're just jealous. Huh? Nothing will happen to him. Who would want to harm an innocent young man like that? Huh? I don't know. You'll be okay. Stop crying. Did I take anybody's blessing? No, no, no. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Bezina. It's going to be okay. Nothing will happen to him. Eh? The wicked ones will be brought to shame. They will see shame. Eh? Nothing will happen to him. Stop it was crying. yesterday. Stop crying. It was yesterday. He went for a party that they did this to him. Oh, I wouldn't have allowed him. I wouldn't have allowed him to attend that party. Oh. You didn't do anything wrong now. It's not your fault. He's old enough to go to a party. It's not your fault. Oh, will I tell my husband? Oh, will I tell my late husband if anything will happen to him? Nothing will happen to him. He'll be okay. Oh, nothing will happen to him. He's going to be okay. Oh? Nothing will happen. He'll be okay. Mamoka, <laughs> I hope you know I have been monitoring you every step of the way. Because I am waiting for good news. Have you done it? Why are you so wicked, Chief? So, so you also poisoned the son? That, that handsome, nice, generous young man. I mean, why do you want to wipe out an entire family? It is not your business what I decide to do. You know it yourself. What will happen to you if you fail to do what you have been instructed to do? And let this be the very last time you will ask this useless question you just asked now. Don't try it again. You are so vile. I know. But I need you to understand I am not the only one involved in this. <laughs> Remember, you have just today, only today, to do exactly what you have been instructed to do. Ankita mela sayanya. Mukonya wa. Wicked man, you die shameful there. Wicked people. Jasper, who are you? Why are you doing this to me? Why are you pointing the axe at my head? Listen, I am pointing this at you because I am going to kill you here. Uzioma, I will smash you with that dress. Oh, you feel you can break up with me? And I will let it go like that? No, eh? no, 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 no. Just my, I'm sorry. These are little things we can, we can, we can amend. Please. Uzioma, okay. I saw you both yesterday. I wanted to kill you both today. But I realized that the young man has not wronged me yet. Hey. Yes, but you should not be thinking towards that direction. This is things we can overcome. Listen, let me tell you. We are not overcoming anything. For you have already crossed the line. Now, close down your eyes. Come on, close your eyes. Hey, just for, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Let me tell you. Uh, last night, I just, I just discovered that I am pregnant. I'm carrying your child. <laughs> you are pregnant? Yes. You think you can blackmail me with pregnancy? No, no, huh? no, 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 no. You think telling me that you are pregnant will, will stop me from killing you here? Hey, just... Listen, close your eyes. I'm going to... Come on, my chair goes. 
Jasper, please now, please. I am not lying. This is new era of medical science. You can, we can know the paternity of the child, please. Yo, she's yours. This is your baby. I swear of my life. Please, Jasper, please don't kill me. Uzioma, are you carrying my child? Yes. 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 Yes, I'm carrying your child. Please don't kill me. Now, listen to me. If I find out that you are playing pranks with me, I will squeeze life out of you. That's why I swear, I swear to God, I'm not lying. This baby is yours. I'm not lying. No, I'm not. What is it? I'm sorry, girl. I'm sorry. So I'm, I'm, I'm really sorry. I'm going to become a father. Yes. You're going to be a father. What should we do with? You are evil. Go to her. <sighs> what are you going to do now? This is a big time mess. I don't know. Don't tell me you're planning to put this on Okechuko. The way I'm looking at it now, it may be the only option. Are you serious? Yes. I cannot allow that pig be the father of my child. No, no way. Well, you should have thought about this before letting him into your laps. Enough. Please, let me think. The, the problem right now is that Okechoko has not even touched me for a long time. Girl, I am definitely not going to be a party to this. Call me out. Have you ever been supportive to me ever since we became friends? This is what you've always wanted to happen to me. You've always wanted to see me in a mess. So I am not even surprised. I will sort myself out. How can you talk like this? Why, why, why would you think that I don't support you? I just don't want you making mistakes all the time. I am the only person that will tell you the truth. It's okay. This is not what you're supposed to be telling me. Now, this is not good. You're not being fair to me. But you know I don't talk off the point. I just simply tell you the truth. And that's what you don't like. You don't like the truth. If you don't know anything about the truth, so I would appreciate it if you just shut up. Allow me to think. I am glad to see you like this. Everyone was almost getting very agitated, you know. Thank you, Doctor. Can I confide in you about something? I do not know exactly what you want to say. But, um, I still believe this is not the time. You're weak and uh, you need rest. You understand that? Considering the fact that I've been unconscious for a long time, I understand. I don't see my mother here. Where is she? Oh, she left for prayers or something. We decided not to intervene in her religion. We simply decided to do our work. Yeah. You said that I was um, poisoned. 
Yeah, yes. You ate something poisoned. And the poison has stayed in your system for two hours. Assuming you stayed additional one hour, you've been a dead man by now. Um, thank God you are still alive. So am I okay now? Am I fine? Am I strong enough to go? Yes, you are. You see, the delegation from the governor came here this morning. Oh, they did? They even wanted to take you to another hospital. But we were able to convince them that you are very okay and uh, you are responding to treatment. Mm. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, how about my fiance? Is she here? I do not know who your friends is. Except, unless you're talking about the one your mom sent out of the hospital this morning. Why? Why would my mother do something like that? No, my friend, you see, you are not yet strong enough to stress yourself on anything. You need rest. Um, I'll be in my office right now. Hmm? I'll be in my office. I'll see you later. Thank you. Thank you. Why didn't I think of it? Telling Annie that I am pregnant for Chaspa is very wrong. She can use that against me. Why didn't I think of this? Oh my word. No. How are you? How are you faring now? Um, a little better. I just um, have some burning, you know, sensations in my stomach. I'm so sorry about that. Don't worry. I've set all the missionaries in motion. We must get to the root of this and fish out those responsible for this evil act. Okay? Thank you. Just promise me that you'll be a man and struggle to live. I promise you. Okay, I have a discussion with the doctor. I'll see you later. Okay. Mom? Thank you so much, my princess, for your concern. I really do appreciate it. Oh, I appreciate it. Your father didn't win because he was destined to die. But I know you are not destined to die before getting married and reproducing children. You will win this battle and come out better. Okay? Thank you, Mom. They poisoned you to finally send me to an early grave, but it won't succeed. They will not. It's okay, Mom. That's okay. Mm. I'll stop assuming that it's poison. Okay, even if it is, have you thought that it could be food poisoning? You know, these assumptions are Negative thoughts going through your head is not good. I know. I know. Is it not you again? You will not believe me. You will keep vouching for people you don't even know, even at the point of your death. When will you ever stop, Okichuku? Eh? It's fine, Mom. 
Let's not argue. It's all right. Um, I'll go and get some food for you to eat. Mm -hmm. Please, don't collect food from anybody, no matter who the person is. Huh? It's fine, Mom. I'm not even hungry. You will be hungry when you perceive the aroma of food. Please, my son. Thank you, Mom. Be strong for the family, okay? Thank you, Mom. Uh, Mom. If you say that the poison has been in his system two hours before he was rushed here, that means he wouldn't have been at the governor's party he got poisoned. I am not in a position to say exactly where the poison came from. But from what we found, the poison has been in the system for two hours before he was brought here. So it is left for you and the other family member to trace his movement to ascertain the exact place the poison was administered. I think I remember something now. You should call the mom. Why? She has something to tell us. She was saying something about telling the son not to go somewhere. So I think she should have something to tell us about her movement. Oh, oh so, so, I'm so sorry for my intrusion. My name is Nedu. Oh. I am Okechigo's friend. Okay. Tell me, how is my friend doing? Oh, we thank God. He's awake. Oh, thank God. So, c c can I see him now? Oh, please do. Like, now? Yes. He's in what for? By your left. Thank you. Please. And you must be the princess. How did you get to know I'm the princess? Anyway, nice to meet you. Well, the pleasure is all mine. Let me see my friend. Please do. Listen, I think... I think we should speak to the mom. Yes. She can tell us where he went to before the party with the governor. My princess, why don't we leave this? Until the patient is fully recovered. Huh? Then we can ask him questions. It's only him that can give us the answers we need. You see, because right now, he is not suitable enough to answer questions. I don't think it's the right thing to do. Why wait till then when we can actually start up something? Anyway, if you insist. But I don't want my patient to be stressed. Your patient is not going to be stressed. We are doing the right thing, remember? We are all doing this for his well-being. Okay, I will just have to be on my way now. Please, start something already. I will. Thank you. morning before leaving the house. Ooh, what kind of trouble is this now? I think I need to go and buy food for my son. I still stand my ground, Biko. I cannot go and be asking a man out. Hmm. Where did such acts land our princess now? I wonder. My sister, even the man went after another girl. Whether he left her or not is not my business. The truth is that there is nothing wrong with anyone speaking up is our mind. Do you know how many people that have died of heart attack because they couldn't speak up? Please, the two of you should go and get married. I am tired of you both arguing over nonsense. Hmm. Nika. This one, you're not seeing anything. Hope all is well. Please, nobody should drag her into this nonsense argument. Mm. It's because she knows what I'm saying is the truth. What truth? Yes. Hmm? 
The fact that I allowed you both to be talking nonsense. How can you say supporting a woman to ask for a man's hand in marriage is the truth? Please just shut up already. As for me, I'll go after any man I love. I don't need stress, Biko. Ah, see who is talking. Maybe when you're embarrassed, you will know. Mm. There is nothing like embarrassment there. It is either he accepts or not. Supported. And that is what I am going to do right now. I thought you are not talking. I speak only when the need arises. Wrong. What is wrong with Neka today? This is unlike her. Hmm. My sister. Maybe her love has not proposed to her. Oh. Hmm. Gossips. You see, a that someone must always have strength to gossip with two people. Please let me go after my friend. Mm, go, bye bye. Go. My sister. My sister. <laughs> As I was saying. Please, I will do anything you ask me to do. Please, please don't leave me. Please, please. I am sorry. I'm sorry. I swear, I'm sorry. I've changed. Why did you not bring the money? Hi. You know I need it, Chidera. You, you, you said you love me, yet you cannot give me the money I ask you for. You cannot make any sacrifice for me. And that is not love. Hey, please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Ah, TK. Okay. I'm so... What are you doing? So you can beg a man. I thought you said you can't do that. Hey, hey. Wonders shall never end. And when will you girls learn to mind your business? I wonder. Hmm? Did you know what we are discussing here? <laughs> See, I, I, I am going. Hey, please don't leave me. Don't mind them. Please don't leave me. I'm sorry. Hey, I swear, I'll bring the money. You'll bring the money? I'll bring the Okay. Until then, until Please. then, eh? Just get the money first. Once you get the money, everything is good. Hey, eh? Tiki. Hey, hey Obim. Did you see that? Later, she'll be for me. <laughs> my sister, I'm still in shock. Just imagine, Almighty oh, Chidebere begging a man, not just a man, a man got DK, DK. I still can't believe what my eyes just saw. Nee, just hmm. so you can see things for yourself. Please, which way did they go? I guess that way, they feel that way. I must watch this drama till the end. I'm following you, Ne. Biko. You know, I am still shocked. About what? Even in this year near death experience, the one you call Babe is still not here. But I asked her now, I called her. But you think I didn't call? I called. Okay. She told me that my mother threw her out of this place and told her not to come back. And then she left without any hesitation. What was she supposed to do? She need to. What was she supposed to do? Fight, fight my mother. You see, in as much as I don't really want to talk about this or bring this topic because of the the situation of things now. But I can't help but Say my mind. Mm. Thank you very much, sir. You have said your mind. Thank you. We can change this topic. I am hungry. Thank you. Nidu, thank you. Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Mm. Topic changed. I thought you said your mom was bringing food for you. Yeah, because I, I don't understand the delay now. She said she, she, she would be here and, and she's not here. I'm hungry. She usually does not delay. And then what, you, you came here empty handed, why didn't you bring food? Do you know I even went to buy this food? You went to buy what food? What are you talking about? You, you told me yesterday you cooked. And what happened to the one you cooked? Hmm. My son, you can't believe it. The soup I prepared this morning before leaving the house that was in the pot already got soured. How? What happened? I don't understand it. That is strange. By the way, I've already bought food, eh? Thank you. So, what about the princess? Um, she is already investigating the matter. I was actually waiting for you to come before yeah. I joined her. Oh, that's very good. So, um, Ma... And now? I need to take my what do you give on it at least? Mama, food is not important for now. Uh, uh, well, he is not hungry. He ate before coming here. Let him go. 
We have to get to the root of this first before things get worse. Kile, you can go. Thank okay? You. Of course, Please that's eat. important. You can go. All right. I'll see you later. All right, Elena. Take care. I'll call you. Okay, Chuku. Uh, okay. Oh, my weight jaw. Ah, my back is... What do you mean? My back aches. The same food you dismissed your friend because uh, of is uh, what you're telling me you don't want to but eat. But I'll eat it now. I didn't dismiss him because of food. I dismissed it because he was okay, Chuku, get trying too much and asked it too. Very question. You can be a bit <laughs> this boy, eh? you can never change. Get up and eat. <laughs> Give me water, ah. water, 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 water. Always as stubborn as his Why can't this woman allow me to enjoy my man? Not again. I am here to see my fiancé. Can we at least do without this drama? Please. Who is your fiancé? Eh? Who is your fiancé? My son? Yes. Your son and I are in a relationship. Hmm? And he means the word to me. Stop deceiving yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. Oh, when will you ever wake up from this, your worthless dream? Now listen to me. Read my lips. My son will not marry you. I've been telling you this and you have chosen not to believe me. Look, I am his mother. And I know the kind of woman I want as a daughter-in-law. Now for the second time in one day, get out of this place. Get out before I bring, I bring the right authorities. Mother, why are you doing this to me? What did I even do wrong? I am securing my son's life. That is why I am doing this. Why are you associating me with evil? I am not going to be harmful to your son. I love him. But you are doing that already. Are you not the devilish daughter of a devilish man? Eh? Oh, you think you can kill my son? Never. Mother, whatever it is you have with my father has nothing to do with my relationship with your son. Okay? He loves me and we cannot do without him. Shut up! Shut up! Come, are you equally stubborn or what? I am telling you what to do and you are here arguing with me. I am not arguing with you. I am not. Can you please allow me to see him? Please. Now swear. Swear on the engine of your car that it was not your father who sent you to come and check if he's still alive. Mother, how can you think so low of me? Because your father is a murderer, and a murderer begets a murderer. Oh, you think I don't know is the plan between you and your father? Mother, why are you doing this to me? I don't like these things you're saying. Really? I have not even started. Yes, I have not started. You better get out of this place before you see the other side of me. Get out! I said you should get out. Leave now! Silly thing! You think you can kill my son? Not when I'm alive. My son again. So, Mamuka, you really want to know what I can do? No, Chief, no. I asked you to do something and you decided to do something else. Why? Chief, I did what you asked me to do. Honestly, I did it. You know, because you have failed in this very task, you are going to replace that woman. Chief, why are you talking like this now? See, just, just give me another chance. I'll, I'll go. I'll put. I'll do it again, Chief. Please.
But what you did was not fair. The least you could have done was allow the lady see me. Eh? Why did you treat her like a total stranger? It was not necessary. That's exactly who she is. A total stranger to you and my family. She should not see you. She should go home. She only came to check if you are still alive or dead. Mom, how can you call Ozi a total stranger? Of course you know she's my woman. I don't like what you're doing, Mom. Eh? Woman of your status should not be behaving this way. You're too enlightened for this. It's not fair what you've done. It, does, it doesn't have to be fair. Life itself is not fair. If life was fair, you wouldn't be in this condition. Mom, why did you start talking like this? Well, you need to realize that I am a grown man, Mom. I am a grown man. I am no longer your little boy. I am now a grown man and I know what's best for me. <laughs> Teach me how to behave. Teach a woman of my status how to behave. Now let me tell you. No matter how much you think you're grown, you are still my son. I am your mother. And I know what is best for you. Not when it comes to love, Mom. It is my life. In your case, I'll be involved. I won't let you mess up your life. Not when I'm still here. Do you even know what you're saying? Don't you want me to rest in peace when I die? Do you want me to be turning in my grave? Is that what you want to get you? Why are you always talking about death, Mom? I've told you to stop it. I can't stop because that's what you want. You see, eh? the issue here is that the evil woman has unleashed the totality of her evil against you. This has absolutely nothing to do with me. It has. She kept saying you are the one who poisoned her son. And she's very bitter. Well, it is not her fault. It is not other woman's fault. Very simple tax that she was given. Wiped them out of the face of the earth and she failed. But you don't need to bother yourself about that. Father, I'm going to handle it. I'm going to make her pay. Father, what are you saying? Who are you referring to? You don't need to bother yourself. Like I just said, everything is under my control. And everything is not just under control. I say it's under my control. And everything will be fine. What did you just say? And why is she always referring to you as an evil man? Father, what exactly did you do to her? As your mom and your daughter, I did not do anything. Am I an evil man? That one useless woman is referring to your father as an evil man. Does that make your father an evil man? Listen, forget about all this. It's a very long story. Very long story. Father, I have time. I need to hear that long story. The things are getting out of hand. I don't even like the fact that she always calls me names. When I don't even know what my offense is, what did I even do wrong? You didn't do anything. And I will plead with you not to allow yourself to be disturbed over nonsense. This, this is done issue. Forget about it like I told you. Also, she meant to say that she just started calling your names. Oh, Father, come on. I'm not a kid. I am an adult. Do you need to brace up and start talking? Father, you need to talk to me now. What is going on? Really? As in, you are not going to forget about this like I just advised you? Come on. Daddy, start talking. Forget about this. <laughs> Excuse me, you really have to tell me the reason for all this. Did anyone die? You mean you have not had? <laughs> Heard what? Ah. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. See, I am a woman who has a lot to do with her time. So if there's an issue, open up and tell me about it. Mamoka is dead. <laughs> what? What do you mean by Mamoka? What did you know Mamoka. What do you mean by dead? Mamoka now. The, the, the one that sells yam. Your friend. <laughs> Excuse me. Mamoka, my friend, dead. Is it not the same Mamoka I saw yesterday morning when I was going out? Excuse me, I hope you're not one of the rumor mongers we have in this village. Ah, I'm not a rumor monger. 
She was found dead along the road. Even people are still there where she was killed. <laughs> you mean killed? <laughs> By who? I don't know. Oh my God! Please, where did you see her? Can you take me there? Yes, we can go. Okay. Let's go. I'll be there. Don't you think you're overworking yourself for nothing? How can you even say that? Did you hear what I said at all? I heard everything you said. And I don't think that's reasonable enough for you to think your father is lying. Oh, and he stopped talking like a fool. I didn't say my father is lying. I only said he is covering something. And that's precisely the point. Perhaps he doesn't want you to uncover what it is you're trying to uncover. He has a good reason for that, don't you think? <sighs> you're just good for nothing. I mean, why do I always have to call you when you, you, you're never helping matters? Oh, well, I'm not going to take offense to that. The truth is, I remain the only one who would always tell you the truth. Nothing but the truth. And that's why even when you decide not to call me again, you find yourself pushy to call me. You know it's not going to work between you and this guy. Get it, and no peace, sweetheart. Mukka, my friend, who did this to you? Who has done this to you, my dear friend? I this was so cruel. What did this poor woman do to you? Oh, no. What is wrong with you? Why are you crying? Is, is Okechuku okay? My daughter is my best friend. What happened? My best friend has been murdered though. She has been murdered. My best friend, the only one I can trust. She's the one that does everything for me. Comes around to keep me company most of the time. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry about that, Mom. How did it happen? I don't know. I was just informed that her body was found lying along the roadside. I thought it was a lie because there was nothing wrong with that the last time we saw. <laughs> Only for me to get there and found out that it was the truth. Just like that? <laughs> Too many abnormal things are not happening in Amanato. Who could have done a terrible thing like that? I don't know. So far, nobody knows anything. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Mommy, it's okay, please. You don't have to start crying like this. I don't want you to fall sick, please. It's okay. Alright? I don't even know what is happening now. I feel like my word is about to come to an end. No, mommy. <sighs> Do not say a thing like that. Your world is not coming to an end. Don't say that. Listen, mom, you have to calm down. Your son needs you now more than ever, remember? Please. I am so sorry about your friend. You don't understand. As it is right now, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I don't know why everything is just happening at the same time. Mommy, some days are like that. That is the way the world is. Ups and downs. Eh? But it will surely end one day. How is Okechuko? He's fine. Much better. Okay. I actually came to see how you're faring. I'll drop by at the hospital to see him. Um, I really have to be somewhere now. Oh. Thank you very much, my child. You have done well. I really do appreciate. It's okay, ma'am. Thank you. But please promise me you won't cry again. Please. I'll try. Please, try not to. I, I, swear, I swear, she's not here. I don't know where she is. I only want to leave a message to you. 
if anything, I mean anything, happens to my child, I would not only kill her, I will kill her slowly. Sir, 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 please, please. I promise you we're here. Don't kill me, please. I am not going to kill you. I am not here for you. Make sure you deliver my message to her. I say I'll die everything. I'll die everything. I won't leave anything out. You should hear everything you said. I will leave now. Close your eyes. Yes, sir. Yes, I'll be closed. They are still open. Are ah, still open. No, 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 I cannot try that. My eyes are closed. Now, yes, oh. repeat what I said. <laughs> so you, you said that. I, I should tell her that. That nothing, that she should make sure nothing happens to your child. That if anything happens to your child, that you will not only kill her, but you will kill her slowly. Yes, sir. Good. I trust you will not fail me. Nah, I swear I cannot try it now. You have always been a good girl. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Phone. What happened? Jasper was here. He threatened you with an act, huh? How did you know? He did the same to me. <sighs> Jasper is becoming a beast. And what's what is it? What's his business with my friend? Ah, babe, this guy almost killed me. Look, he left a message for you. He said I should tell you that you should not let anything happen to his child. That if anything happens to his child, he will not only kill you, but he will kill you slowly. He's stupid. Now he wants his child, huh? <laughs> I see. All right. He will have his child. That sense. But I, I am I am sorry, okay? I am sorry this happened. It's not as easy as you think. Babe, this guy scared the daylight out of me. Uh, good thing he did not harm you. Hmm? I'm sorry about that, but I promise you, he will pay. I'll make sure he pays. What is even wrong with Jasper? Stupid boy. Are you trying to tell me you're not scared of this guy? No, I'm not. I'm not. But I'm still going to deal with him. Mama, take it easy. It is well. Ah, uh, they do. Yeah. It's good you are here. How are you doing? Get some water. I'm happy to hear that. Um, why is Mama this sad? Uh, she lost her, um, her best friend today. She was murdered. Oh, sad. Mama, I am so sorry. Please accept my condolence. Thank you. What's the update? When am I... Did you speak with the doctor? When am I living here? Oh, yes. I spoke with the doctor and we agreed that you and Mama will not be going back to your house. Um, for now. Why? It's not safe. How? You, How? you remember the, the soup Mama said got sour? Yes. yes. Um, it wasn't just sour, it was poisoned. What? I mean, how? In my own house? How is that possible? That is why we said that the house is no longer safe for you, but... Yeah, but who could have poisoned the food? Exactly. Who else? <laughs> it's not far from the same person who caused this. But... Anyway, you both will be staying in my house for the meantime. Until this thing calms down. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much, my son. Eh? You're welcome, Mama. And it was also the governor's idea. Oh, uh -huh. 
they have been investigating this whole thing and and the police will be starting with Chief Izunasau's house. Why? Why Chief Izunasau? Why, why, why? Because his house was the last place he went. Right after this thing started. Oh, yeah, I get it, but still that doesn't make him a suspect. Now. Why are you vouching for him? Why are you vouching for that evil man? They do continue, please. Well, Mama, that is the message and is a new development. I'll be heading out now and I will see you all later. Oh, especially you, okay? Thanks, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're leaving already? Yes. All right. See you later. Take care. <sighs> Mama, I don't like what you're doing. I don't like what you're doing. <laughs> this is not this is not nice. What do you ever like? Have you ever liked anything? You see, in this matter, I'm not even going to argue with you. I won't argue with you. Thank God, people are beginning to see through my eyes. People are not beginning to see anything through your eyes. Move you have this in your head. Stop what you're doing. It's so nice. You're embarrassing the innocent man. Mm? Yes. Innocent indeed. What do you even know? What do you even know? Let my friend just go. It's not so innocent. Mm? It's not only innocent. It's Vincent. Mm. What do you even know? What do you know? Mm. The truth is beginning to come out. Seriously, Janet. I'm beginning to see reasons with you. Uzioma is definitely going too far. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank God we are beginning to reason well. Yes. I mean, who does that? Huh? A commoner. A commoner like Uzioma blocking the princess. Huh? And that's for a man she doesn't even love. Look, I'm waiting for her to come back, so I give her a piece of my mind. No, the only thing that you would tell her now is to free the SSA and not punish him with her witchcraft. What do you mean by witchcraft? Are you, are you suspecting Ozioma to be a witch? I am not only suspecting her. Ozioma is a witch. She's a witch by trying to stop true love. Mm -hmm. And what do you call true love? When a woman pushes herself to a man, is that true love? Can you do that? Can you do it? The answer is no. You can't. So why can't you allow someone who summoned courage to have her way? Huh? As for Ozioma, we will tell her that we know she's a witch. I'm <laughs> so baby. Are you home alone? Yeah, I'm here alone. What is there? What? What what is it? Nothing and just um I've missed you and uh, And uh, And what? Nothing. You're unbuttoning my clothes, what I do you know. want to do? Right here? No, come on. Oh, no, come on. No, no. no, you can't you can't do this here. You cannot, no, you can't, you can't. You no. Can't. no, no, you can't. Oh no. For two reasons. First, this is not my place. Okay, remember. And then secondly. You know, I have a lot going on in my head right now. And that's why you need me. Let me take care of you. Okay, yeah. listen, I, listen. No, look, I, mm. look, I know, I know that you missed me. I've missed you too. But you know, there are a lot of other things we could do together. You know, I mean, it doesn't have to be sex right here. Really? Yeah.
Did you search everywhere? Yes, sir. Search very well. Yes, sir. Are you this anybody? Yes, okay, let's go. The indoor man. For how long are you going to be here? For as long as it takes for me to get on my feet completely again. You know that uh, that poison did a lot of damage. But the doctor was nice enough to prescribe some some tablets, you know, that just helps to cleanse my system and also build my immune system. But it's it's drowsy. You know, every time I take it I feel like I should just rest my head. So for safety I just choose to be in those. But I'll be fine. Okay, guess what? what? <laughs> Maybe you're going to like this. baby. <laughs> yes, I can see that. Okay. I'm happy for you. Oh, no, no. It should be, I am happy for us. It's our baby. Yeah, of course, I'm happy quite all right. Mm -hmm. um, when did, when did you you know, when did you notice this? After I went for a text. <laughs> Is that so? Yes. Honey, are you sure I'm responsible for this pregnancy? And babe, what, what kind of question is that? Are you not my man? Babe, you put it in here. I'm carrying our baby. I'm just, you know, asking to be sure if, you know, you know, this belongs to us, you and I, you know, if I'm responsible for this pregnancy. I'm just checking. What are you trying to say? I'm just being meticulous. Is that all you have to say to me? You know that she confirmed that she's pregnant is not a problem. I mean, any woman can be pregnant. But the question begging for an answer here is, are you responsible for the pregnancy? Come on now, Nedu. How can you ask me something like that? You know that I'm not. I haven't been with her in months, you know. Well, in that case, you have nothing to worry about. Nothing. I've just been wondering about what. Just been wondering why she would want to pin this pregnancy on me. You know this is a tricky situation, right? You know we live in a world where people agree with women. I have to be careful. I don't want my name dragged in the mud. I don't want a scandal. I, you know, I, I don't want anything to be a dent on my image. I do. You get it? Absolutely, my friend. But you see, as long as you know you're standing this, I don't think that would be a problem. Let her be. Let her carry the pregnancy until when it's time for delivery. And then after delivery, we'll find out the truth. I am beginning to understand this whole thing now. <laughs> understand what exactly? Uh, you know, I told you she came here a couple of days ago to see me. She wanted sex. Oh yeah. You know, she she wanted us to, you know. Mm -hmm. 
to do it here. Did you succumb? Come on now, of course you know I did not. It was all strange. You know, I couldn't, I couldn't understand why she wanted it. I, I, I did not do it. But I'm just saying that it's beginning to add up. You get my point? Of course I do. But I will say this, it's still not a problem. Just do what I said. I hear you. Hmm. If at the end of the day I'm not responsible for that pregnancy, I'm never going to forget. I won't forget this. I won't forgive us, your man. I will not. I, I stood by that girl when everybody told me she was bad. I would never forgive. Isn't it obvious? The child is obviously not yours. I mean, judging from everything you've said here, she's actually carrying another man's child. That pregnancy is not yours. At least it's a pointer to the fact that you can now see the true nature of the one you have been trusting all these years. Okay, yes, I get your point, but oh, please, 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 do not capitalize on this to say so many other things. I am not saying so many other things, bro. Listen, I am just saying what every right-thinking person will understand. So please don't change the topic. Don't twist it. Princess, where are you going? I can't do it. Please, it's okay. Please stop crying. Please. Like when is this operation going to be? In two days time. And the doctor said if it is not done, you will die. <sighs> um. Process to this thing. You see, the doctor said yours is not a match. Well, that notwithstanding, no matter what it is, we will try to convince him to buy one. But he even said he can't buy. That's what he said. Mama, don't worry. Just <sighs> don't worry. I will find a way. I think I need to be on my way now. Let me try and see the doctor. Hmm? Mama, please. Okay, just be strong. Everything just happened at this end. It's alright, be strong. I'll see you. Hey, Mom, tell me who did you offend? Who did my son offend? Why is all this thing happening to you? I can't leave him in this condition. What do I do? Even the mother did not order me to leave. She now knows I can be of help. 
if I am ever going to win this war, this is my best time. You will do no such thing. Not in this house and not while I'm still alive. Are you mad? Do you want to kill me? Father, nobody is dying. It's just one of my kidneys and that's all. We can survive with one. So giving up one is not a problem. I can see you are going insane. Now, get into your room. Now! This is not happening. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, under no circumstances shall the princess leave this palace unless I say so. It is a direct instruction. Can you hear me? Uh, listen. If it warrants force, use force. Don't let her get out of this palace for anything at all. Yeah. is not the reason I must do this. He can as well marry the person he loves. But I will have to do this because of what I feel for him. The only man I consider good enough as a husband. Father, Father, you really have to find a way to understand that I'm going to do this. I must do this. Sierra. What is it? What is the problem? Why did you call me out? The king has just given an order that will surely get the princess mad at me. And that's, I want you to help me. What order is that? He said we should not allow the princess to leave this palace. And he also said we can apply force if necessary to restrict her. Can you possibly do that without assaulting her? That is why I called you to help me talk to her. So that she will stay in her chambers without coming out. How, how possible is that? Eh? See, I don't want to get involved. Please, do what you need to do. How you feel. And don't make me part of it. The princess have stopped relating with me ever since I pleaded with her to stop throwing herself at that man. Please, don't make me part of it. Please. They will be the same one to say we have assaulted the princess. How am I going to solve this now? There must be a way. Good to go. What is this? Who locked my door? My princess, I'm here. What do you mean you're here? Why would you lock my door? Open it now. My princess, it is the king's order. He orders for the door to be locked that you shouldn't be allowed to go out today. Are you kidding me or what? Okay, go call my father for me. Ah, my princess, you know the tradition. No one has the right to summon the king like that. Okay, if no one can summon the king, then open the damn door! I'm sorry, my princess. It is an order from the king and I can't disobey. And this is an order from the princess of this land. Go call my father, you this idiot! My princess, he already left. I am so going to deal with you when I come out of this place. You're messing 
wrong with me and you don't know? Listen, I will make sure you're relieved of your duties. Can you open this door now? I'm sorry, my princess. It is not within my power to open the door for you. Oh, you must be a very, very stupid man. It is not within your power to, to, to open the door, but it is within your power to lock me in here. I swear I am so going to deal with you. Open this door! My princess, I think you should call the king. He will call me to open the door for you. Frustration is this. Let me go and tell the doctor to come and take my own. Mama, Mama, please. Nothing will happen to him. What do you mean nothing will happen to him? When the doctor said after today I will not see my son again. So this has been your plan all through, Millicent Tuzonko, to kill my only child for me. What wrong did my daughter do in loving your son that you people want to kill her? Anyway, I'm here to inform you that she will not be coming because I have done the needful. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Please forgive me. I don't want to kill the princess. It is conditioned. And there is no other alternative than looking for who will die for your son. Your, your Majesty, she has been willing to give house for him. In fact, a few minutes before your arrival, she offered to give her own, but the doctor declined. Well, I cannot allow my only child to sacrifice her life for your son. Help! 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 you to help me deliver things to Okechukwu. Why? Don't worry. Everything is explained in it. He will understand. Okay. Can you at least tell me where you're going? I... I'm going to somewhere Jasper will not find me. Wait. Don't tell me you're running away from Jasper. C come, girlfriend. I think you should... Talk to your father. Your father should be able to do something about this. Yes, you're right, but I don't think it's a good idea. Yo, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I really do wish I can help, but I'm handicapped. I understand. And I'll be fine. Just take care of yourself. And you take care of yourself and the baby too, please. I'll call you, okay? Yes. Please be fine, okay? Sure, I'll try. Wait, please take care, okay? I'll call you. Please take care. Thank you. This is very important to me. You'll get it. Bye, dear. Doctor, please, please, is there nothing we can do? I don't understand. I've explained this to you before, isn't it? Try and convince any of the ladies there is a perfect match with it. <sighs> I would have actually wanted and preferred the princess's organ working in my friend. But right now, as it is, the king has barred her from coming. So I do not... <sighs> I don't even know what else to do. Then forget about her and settle for the other one. Anyway, um, let me know when she's here. The one you're talking about. I don't even have an idea as to why she is not yet here. And I don't even have the motivation to put a call across to her. Well, anyway, I think he is still in a stable condition right now. We may wait a little bit longer. 
doctor. Why can't my own walk? Am I not a man? Why it is called, are you preferring that of the ladies? It is called science. Nothing to be confused here. There's much with his. Let me know when they are here. Sincerely, this whole thing is just beginning to get me more confused and confused. Okay. Can't we fly him abroad? Alice, let's get this thing done. It's an emergency, the, 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 the way you're putting it. Even when you fly him abroad, you will still need a donor. Remember that. Uh huh. And the process over there might be so complicated. The donor might be asking for money in hard currency. Hard currency, remember. So you can see why I said that doing it here is much better. Yes. <sighs> Seriously, I, I'm confused. This is the first time I'm meeting up with a situation that I don't know what to do. No worry, your friend will be fine in this case. Why have you demanded to see me at your place? You know how difficult it is to pull me out of the hospital at this time when I need to be at my friend's side. So sorry, please. It's, it's just very important I deliver a message to him. Well, you sounded like it was really urgent. Anyway, let me have the message I'll deliver it to him. This is from Uzuma for Oketriko, okay, please. Make sure he gets to him. It's very important. She said he will understand when he goes through. It's all right. In that case, he will get it. Thank you. Um, how is he doing? He's getting better. Well, we cannot say for sure. We are only hopeful. Oh, my. It's okay. Please do take care, okay? And make sure he gets it, please. Like I said, you will get it. Thank you. <sighs> wow! This is good! <laughs> Wait, um, what is good, Doctor? Is she coming? I mean, is Osioma coming? No. But I guess it worked. What worked? <laughs> don't worry. You will understand everything soon. Let's go. I don't understand anything. And why are you excited? Why are you smiling? I don't want my friend to die. This is not a smiling matter. I said your friend will be fine. He will not die. You're obviously still smiling. You're supposed to be tense, Doctor. You're about losing a patient. My friend. <laughs> you see, I am not losing anyone. Like I said, your friend is fine. Let's go and see him. I, I, there is something you're not telling me. Can we go? Let's go. I don't know how. 
Ako ay yun mo binem, doctor. I am sorry. Doctor, please, please, God will say somebody that will, that will, that will help us. Please, doctor, please, doctor, please, doctor, please, doctor, please. Doctor, please don't give up on my son. Doctor, doctor please now. Why are you removing these things? He's still alive. I am sorry. Your son will explain better. Uh, uh, no, no, no. This I am sorry is what is getting me agitated. What, what are you sorry about? Please. 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 Are you mocking me? He will explain better. Sorry, I'm being selfish. Just um, okay, you suddenly got well. Okay, you go. Okay, you go. What happened? Okay, you go, Mom. Settle down, everybody. Ah! Settle down. Mama, 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 please. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Please don't tell me to settle down. Just start talking. Yes, explain. Trust me, Sid. Trust me, Sid. Trust me. I'm okay here. Explain. I can explain. Just settle down. I'll explain this. I was only many doors as you started. Wrong! Get my car keys! Okay. On the dining table! Fast! Princess, please wake up. Please, please. It's me, your father. Huh? Please. How is my daughter? Oh, she's fine. You are very lucky, man. You almost lost her. But we thank God she's alive. I don't think I would have forgiven myself if anything had happened to my only child. It's okay. Everything is fine now. Can I see her now? Sure. Actually, I came to uh, pick you. Let's dance here. Huh? Thank the gods. Okay, Chuko. Where is Okay, Hey, Adam, thank the gods. You are all right. Relax, just relax. Oh, Okay, Chuko, please call him. Uh, I'm here for you. Eh? I'm here with you. I'll be here with you. All you need is relax. All you need now is to rest. Eh? Father, I know you're here, but I need to see Okay, Chuko at once. Please. And um, by tomorrow, he will be here. I heard that he has been discharged from the hospital, so I'll send them to bring him here Father, tonight. I can't wait till you tomorrow. I want him to come now. Okay, I'll, I'll send somebody. Somebody will go and call him. Just relax first. Please Father, rest. I need to see him before I relax. Please, now. Okay, okay. I'll call him now. I'll call him. Let me call him. Huh? Let me call him. Don't worry. I'll call him. Okay, I get it. I understand. I know. You're worried. Okay, but just calm down if you could just sit down and hear me out. It will be nice. Calm down. No. I am not worried. I am angry. Yes. And um, um, what do you want to tell me? That prank was too expensive. I mean, what were you trying to get at? I know. Okay, I just said that to be sure the pregnancy was mine. I, I, I know. He just wanted to be sure. Do you know that you would have actually lost your mother in the process? What excuse would you have given? I mean, you would have carried me along. You would have told me I am your friend. I'm sorry, man. Forgive me. Uh, 
I didn't even know it was going to work that fast. I... You didn't know? Now, let me ask you this question. What if the people involved got hurt? Oh, no. I, I knew no one was going to get hurt. I, I had things under control. Obviously, you have things under control. <laughs> you always have things under control. You have things under control on that hospital bed where you laid, pretending to be sick. Hello? Princess? What? Hospital? Okay. All right. I'll be there. I'll be there. Yeah. Hospital? Yeah, princess at the hospital. Oh, God. Not hospital again. I, I, let me drop you. I'm not trying to talk you out of your condition, but I want you to respect the verdict of the cake. But there's no verdict. They can stand between Okechuku and the love I have for him. The king wants you to recover first before I start talking about him now. But there's nothing wrong with me. I am fine as in 100% fine. The thought that I may end up not having Okechuku was my problem and will always be my problem. He is the only one I want to see now. side again but I'm here just calm down oh my goodness sorry sorry I love you so much I love you I love you so much please stay with me for as long as you want baby because I love you too huh? I don't want you to leave my sight ever again please I'll not I'll not just relax you'll be fine okay I'm here I'm so glad that I'm oh, no, 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 no. don't do that to yourself come on, come on rest rest Oh. I'm happy to be here with you. Mm. Okay? Mm. I promise you, mm. with my whole heart, whatever it is you want, I'll do for you. Mm. Okay? You want me to spend the night? I will. Uh, yes, I want you to. <laughs> I want you to be by my side always. Of course I will. Okay? Thank you. That's fine. Uh, that's my friend. His name is Nidu. Yes. My princess, I hope you're getting better. Yes. Well, my name is Nedu. Oh. And Okejuku here has been my friend right from primary school days. I'm happy. Um, my name is Priscilla. To be here. Okay. Um, it's a pleasure. Mine too. I can even stay below. You have not heard. Your love is a hero. I've always known him to be a hero. Mm. So what happened? He, he caught Chief Izunam so very charm in Mrs. Suzongo's compound. Check me. Are you serious? As I'm talking to you right now, he has been arrested. And they are in the palace. Huh. Oh, this is no good. But that serves him right. At least he should pay for his evil deeds. Exactly. Yeah, Chalokwa. I saw the key be one of my house this morning. I'm going to go and sweep your father's compound. Also, um, Kasimo, can you brief us again about what you told me on my way coming back from Ugume, where I want to deliver a war hanger? I saw someone tiptoeing towards Mrs. Onzokwa's gate. I decided to follow the person. 
Then I found out his chief here. So I decided to follow him. Only for me to see him digging a hole at the gate to bury a charm. Yeah, I knew it all along that it was you. You are so wicked. You killed my husband. And I said that is not enough. You poisoned my son. Why are you so evil? What did we ever do to you? Chief is Nassau. Since last night that you were brought in here, till now that I decided to hold this open interaction with you, I have made some inquiries. And I found out that you are the one who detailed Mamaoka to poison them. And since it did not work your way, you killed her. Honestly, I, I don't know the people who are lying against me. They are lying against me. The authority who spoke to me did not lie against you. He does not lie. But if you decide to discredit him, I will leave you at his mercy and let's see who the ghosts of this land will visit. You said that this is going to be an interaction. But we all know it is not. You simply organized this to humiliate me. Says who? Says the one who was caught bearing a charm. Says the one who ran at confrontation in order to hide his crime. Says the one who was arrested last night by those who came out. Chief Iznaso, your ultimate plan is to hijack the throne of Amanato, but you see Okechukwu as your great obstacle. But I never ever told anyone in Amanato that I am interested in the throne. So why seek to destroy me and my family? Why? Chief Iznaso, you are a very wicked man. You killed my husband, poisoned my son, and you also killed my best friend. Ah! You don't deserve to live. The only thing that is good for you is death, and you will die a shameful death. Wicked man. Obuefibianele, the seer of Amanato was the one who made the revelations. Are you saying he's a liar? Are you saying you are not the one who poisoned Okechuku? Are you saying you are not the one who killed Mamoka? Are you saying you were not planning to kill me and hijack the throne of Amanato? I need you to speak. I don't understand. Are you not going to welcome me in? What do you not understand? Why must it be my place? Can't you go somewhere else? Anne, do you realize you're talking to me in this manner? What has come over you? Of course I realize I'm talking to you. Of all places to go, why must it be mine? What part of leave my house do you not understand? Anne, can I at least stay here? I do not have anywhere to go. The one they call Obwe Fibialele has sealed my father's compound with tender palm fronts. You know what that means? It means your family has been ostracized from Amanato because of the actions of your father. Anne, you know me too well. You know I do not support my father. Please, let me stay. I don't know about that. All I know is you've been so wicked to a man who loves you so much. To the point where you almost impose another man's pregnancy on him. And that's wicked of you. Please, Anne. You shouldn't be the one saying no things to me. You're my friend. We've been friends for so long now and I value our friendship. Ozium, I need to come out straight on this. Based on the status your family has assumed in Amanato, I wouldn't want to have anything to do with you. Please, I suggest you see yourself out. I want to thank you, especially for what you did for us. I want to thank you for helping us. 
you see a lot of people in your position would have accepted the offer from Chief Izunaso, but you chose to stay back. You stayed back and you spoke the truth without even expecting a reward. That's quite shocking. <laughs> and you know, that got me talking with the governor and he told me that for your kindness, he would reward you with a job at the government house. Me? Yes. Yes, you. You. You are a decent citizen of this world. How I wish most people are like you. Thank you so much. I don't even know how to thank you. <laughs> it's okay. You deserve it. You saved our lives. So, we owe you a whole lot. I'm really grateful for this. Uh, well, uh, we should be the ones grateful for your kindness. I mean, we, we should be doing more for you. It's okay. Uh, <laughs> so, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, and I also want to take this time to say that, look, you are now a member of this family. Okay, feel free to stop by. Whatever it is that you want, you, you're free to come here. If there's anything at all, anything at all you feel that we can do for you here, do not hesitate to speak up. Okay. That's hard for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate You know what? Uh, let me get you something. Come on. Please, can I have a word with you? You mean me? Yes, you. Please, I would like to have a word with you. Well, no. You cannot have a word with me. Why? I'm sorry for all that happened. Please give me the opportunity to let you know how I feel about you. No. This is not happening. <gasps> Neka, wait! Neka, wait! Neka, please don't go! Neka, I love you so much. What do I do? Neka! Why are you running away? Neka, wait! Suspense. Please, what happened? <laughs> he spoke to me. You mean Cassie spoke to you? Yes. He actually apologized and told me about his feelings for me. How did you behave? Hope you did not fall my hand. Trust me on that. I told him no, that I don't want to talk to him. I know you will come after me. You did well, my friend. <laughs> don't let him feel you cannot live without him. Trust me. I will make him come begging. Yes, I will not make it easy for him at all. But don't overdo it. You know too much of everything is bad. Just know when to stop. No problem. But for now, he's on a low level. I am so happy. My dream is coming true. I can't wait to have him to myself. Vico, mm. it's okay. Before you go and ruin everything, let's just hope he comes back. He will. I'm so sorry for all the pains that I've caused you. I'm sincerely sorry. I don't know why you decided to be saying all this. The truth is that I've always loved you. Just don't know if you will accept me. That was why I kept it to myself. And I was never trying to take advantage of your friend or anything. I don't know what happened. I'm sorry. Please. 
this is more like a dream come true. I love you too, Cassie. I have been waiting for so long to tell you. I love you so much, Ineka. I will never leave your side. Thank you so much, Cassie. She just brought joy into my life. I should be the one thanking you. Thanks for being patient with me. I'm really grateful. I am. I knew it would come to this. I love you so much, Cassie. Thanks so much for loving me right back. I should be the one thanking you. You tolerated me. You waited. I love you so much. Come. There's something that I would love to show you. Come. Honestly, I used to like this guy. But considering what he has done, I mean, the extent he went just to prove a point. I feel you should avoid a man like that. Well, I may need to redirect you for you're already missing the point. He was not out to prove any point. He was out to establish the truth. You and I were there. We saw how everything worked out. Have you bothered asking yourself if you finally end up with this man as his wife? The things he'll be doing just to establish the truth. What are you saying? Well, on the contrary, I like him because of what he did. He's a very decisive man. He's a man who can go all out for what he wants. He's not very good in delegating responsibilities, but he can come out and do things by himself. He is a real man. I mean, he has the traits of a king. And to tell you the truth, if I happen to want to get married tomorrow, he's the kind of man I would like to be married to. Betty cannot marry him. For your father does not like what he did. I interacted with your father and he saw him as a man who can risk the life of his wife just to prove a point. Your father will never allow you to die before him and he will never give you out to a man like that. Priscilla, we have actually talked about this before but I'm going to say it one more time. If you love my father so much that you're very comfortable discussing things with him, why don't you tell me? I can actually ask him to marry you. I beg your pardon? No, you cannot beg for my pardon for you already know what I'm talking about. What I say to you as a friend means absolutely nothing to you. But what my father says to you means everything to you. And you have concluded it has to do with anything. Priscilla, I like you a lot. I like you a lot as a friend. And that is the reason I do not want to have issues with you. I mean, if not for one thing, you are a very intelligent person. Let us remain good friends. I never knew Cassia is this romantic. I mean, he has everything I've ever wanted in a man. He even carried me up and I felt on top of the world. I'm so happy for you, my friend. Look how happy you are. I <laughs> wish I were you. I can't wait to have my own man. Calm down, baby girl. Your own man will locate you. I hope so. There is this man I've been crushing on. Maybe I'll just talk to him. Maybe to work. Who knows? It appears as if the princess has opened a new chapter in Amanato. Mm. For babes, summoning courage to approach their dream men, telling them exactly how they feel about them. Mm. It still sounds crazy to me, but then there is nothing wrong in a woman expressing her feelings. I'm just hoping the princess succeeds in her own. I mean, it will be a new dawn in Amanato. There is no need hoping. It will not work. Why will you say that? The king has refused to accept his daughter to be with him. And you know what that means. Without the king's approval, they cannot be together. <sighs>
Anya. Yes? Can I help you? Yes. There is something I've been wanting to tell you for a while now. Okay, go on. I have been wanting to tell you that I love you so much. I, I really love you. And I would like us to be together. What did you just say? I said that I love you. And I would like us to be together. You love me? Yes, with all my heart. Now you go about telling men how much you love them. Oh, if anyone, you are not serious. You are shameless. How can I imagine of Amanato be doing this? I did nothing wrong. I only spoke up. That is not enough reason for you to insult me. I really love you more than words can describe. And it will be a pleasure to spend the rest of my life with you. The problem is, you are a woman. You should have respect for yourself, not telling men how you love them. How does this even sound in your ears? It means you are still a man, wired in stone ages. And there is nothing I can do for someone like you. If anyone, is that supposed to be an insult? It is just a statement of facts. That you just missed a golden opportunity of having a woman who is ready to give up everything for you. It is just a statement of facts. That you just missed a golden opportunity of having a woman who is ready to give up everything for you. Does it appear that I have made a huge mistake? <laughs> Thank you. My brother, I am so excited for you. Thank you. I am exceedingly happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, nah, nah, I was remaining. You don't see him now. Yes, so now you remember now. Now you know I'm married now. No, where are the woman now? What are you talking about? You're not ready. Once you're ready, you'll find the woman. Wait, oh, because you are lucky to find the good woman. So you feel it's just that simple. Finding the wife material is just so easy. Calm down. If you want a woman, you find a woman. There are women. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I hope you still remember the words of late Professor Jenu Achebe that says, Those whose palm kernels were cracked for them by a benevolent spirit should not forget to be humble. Are you saying I'm not humble? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I'm humble. <laughs> you see, you were on your own and then a benevolent spirit brought you the best. So allow us that are not as lucky as you to find ours in peace. And we will definitely find. Okay, no bother. At this juncture, I, I give up. It's fine. When you're ready to find a wife, I am positive that you'll find a good woman. The best, actually. One that will make you happy. Anyway, enough of me. Let's talk about you. Oh, yeah. When is the celebration taking place? Ah, uh, you know that... Um, Marrying royalty follows a process, so um, my marriage to the princess would follow a process. The Iwe Eze Oyekonye uh, told us that uh, we should be a bit patient for the land of Amanato, first and foremost, would have to be cleansed of the atrocities committed by Izunaso. After all of that is done, that we can pick a date for the marriage. And I agree with him. Anyway, it's okay. Mine is that at least they should hasten up. You know. Else. Uh, <laughs> I might. Uh, uh, I just might. Do what? Mine might be settled before you. Look at this man. <laughs> Coming from someone who has not even found a wife. I mean. Back away. <laughs> a minute can't change. I mean, uh -huh. no matter what happens, you should open up to me. I am your friend and we confide in one another. 
How I wish I can reverse the hands of time. What happened? It didn't go well or what? That was the worst day of my life. That guy gave me the insult of my life. Like, I felt the ground just open and swallow me. I left some strong statements, but that was just to cover up my shame. The fact that it worked for the princess doesn't mean it will work for every other person. Cassie! I've missed you so much. I've missed you too. You're so heavy now. <laughs> oh, you're looking good. Thank you. Uh, where have you been? I went to your workshop and you were not there. Yeah, I finally got a job in a government house, so I located. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before now. Wow, that's so nice. See how good you look. Thank God. Is that your friend? Oh, forgive my manners. Uh, that's Nedu, my boss. Nedu, meet my fiancé and her friend, Ifeyonwa. Hmm. It is good to finally meet both of you. Pretty <laughs> damsels. And I have heard so much about you both. It's my pleasure. <laughs> You're welcome. Please, let's go have a seat. Did you notice anything? Like what? The way the Nedu guy was looking at you, I can say he was checking you out. It's bad luck for him. I am not looking for a man that will be checking me out. I'm looking for a man that will come with the ring. Are you already concluding he cannot come with the ring? Come on, if you want. <coughs> Cheer up. That guy got consumed by your personality. And he was admiring you all through the period. Did you hear Cassie calling him boss? That guy is already a boss in the government house. And I'm sure he has babes he has been grooving. And you feel those babes are better than you. Don't give me that, if you want. That guy was admiring you all through the period. And I feel something is running through his head. I beg. Stop putting ideas in my head. But I think I'm liking him. <laughs> but I'm not allowing these feelings to grow. Because I'll only get hot. Mm -mm. Well, let's keep the hope alive. But we'll see what will happen. <laughs> I'm just happy for you and Cassie. Very soon, he will come and pay your bride price. And take you to his <laughs> new place in Oka. <laughs> and I am certain you will find a better man, my friend. <laughs> wow. And please, and please don't treat me like this. Look at my condition and you will agree that I need help. Please. But babe, I know you need help. I know, but based on what has happened, I cannot welcome you into my house. Please. Oh, why? Why are you saying this to me? What do you want me to do? Where do I even go to? <sighs> Look, please, please, the best I can do for you is help you with some money. But as for accepting you into my house, it's, that's going to be difficult for me. I can't. Please. I, and I would suggest you go to the palace and apologize. I'm sure they can let you back into your father's compound, right? Your father was the criminal, not you. Please, please don't cry now. Can you at least come with me? Please. Please. Why are you dragging me into this? I'm already violating the rules by talking to someone whose family has been ostracized. If you find it difficult to approach the king, you can remain in your mother's house. I'm sure they won't chase you away. Ozioma. We have been looking for you. Me? Of course. 
Okichuko has been looking for me. After what my father did to him. You see, that's all in the past now. I mean, it's not your fault that your father did what he did. I am certain Okechuku okay, forgave you already. Um, I am ashamed of myself. I feel, I feel sorry for him for all I did to him. He really do not deserve all that. Like I said, he holds no grudge against you. Notwithstanding, I still think that it is a wise choice if you can go to him. I mean, talk to him just to clear your conscience. If not for any reason, at least for the sake of your unborn child, Ozioma. Go to him. I really want to, but I am scared. I don't know what might happen. Um, child whose father has been jailed? No. A child whose mother is going to raise to be not just a responsible citizen of this country, but of the world at large. Okay. Listen, I know you have learned your lessons already. But do not allow this sorrow to drag for the sake of your child. Mecca, Mecca, please, 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 please don't do this to me. At least listen to me. I am listening. Neka, please. Look, I, I messed up. I realized I was a fool. I've been trying to walk my way back into her heart, but she has refused to give me a chance. Why would she give you a chance? Neka. You had her heart, but you broke it. Neka, that's why I came to you. Please. I know you are her best friend and she listened to you. Please, can you help me talk to her, please? I want to fix things with her. Too late. What do you mean by too late? Someone from the government house proposed to her. No, that's not true. It's what not you, true. What do you mean by that is not true? It's not true, Nick. It's not true. I mean someone from the government house proposed to her and she accepted. She is already wearing his ring. So much I want to say, but I don't even know where to start from. If I can actually have a glimmer of whatever it is you want to say, I can help us bring it out. You know, when God created you, he created one of a kind. A masterpiece. He created my missing piece. I have come to realize, my princess, that indeed you are my missing piece and I've come to ask that you stop missing and make me complete. Honestly, you speak in riddles and you confuse me. I have come to ask that you agree to be my wife. And make me the happiest man in the world because I know you can. Will you marry me? This. <laughs> there is. This is something I've, I've always wanted for you. To be a happy man and enjoy the love and the peace marriage has to offer. Thank you so much for finally doing this. Yes, I'll marry you. From the depth of my heart, I will marry you. And yes, I love you. I love you more. Come here. Oh, yes. I understand the reason you are doing all this. 
But are you not going to take a pause? Try to recall the wonderful moments we spent together as friends. It is time for you to call the chief priest to order. Let him understand that he has no right whatsoever to seal my house the way they have just done. And then it's being reported right now that I have no longer, my name is no longer listed along the list of chiefs of Amanato. And you're still here? <laughs> Okom Madu Zunaso. It is actually High Chief Okom Madu Zunaso, no. sir. You are no longer a chief in Amanato. You are not even a low chief before you start talking of high. Our chieftaincy cannot be bestowed on a murderer. But I was already a high chief in this kingdom, even before the said crime got committed. And based on the heinous crime you committed, the chieftaincy has been withdrawn and you will be going to jail. Hey, that is where I want you to come in. Look at the man that is standing before you. I am a man who have achieved a very significant status in this kingdom. There is no way somebody like me will be going to prison and you know it. And the ones you brutally ended their lives were people with promises. You kill them so that you remain relevant in politics. But I'm telling you here as the king of Amanato that you have come to an end. What? Do you think you can destroy a man like me? I did not destroy you, Okoma de Zunaso. You destroyed yourself. And I am pleading with you here to lower this weapon that you may live to see another day. You are the one who will not even live to see tomorrow. If you fail to do exactly what I want you to do right now, you are going to issue a statement, a royal statement that is stating that the chief priest has no right under whatever law in Amanato to seal my house the way he has done. Are you ready to do that? Isuna so. You are pointing a gun at the king of Amanato right in his palace where the forces that keep the palace are looking. Isuna so. Lower this weapon and you will live to see another. Listen to me. You have just the count of ten to do exactly what I have just told you to do, or I am going to blow you into pieces. And let me tell you, nothing will happen. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two. <laughs> Gas. No, I just remove this thing from my presence and. Send a message to the town union president. This fool must be buried today with our casket. Okay, Your Highness. His Royal Highness. Is a Onye Konye. Konye. Of Amanato. I humble myself. Your presence today. With my mother. To ask for your daughter's hand in marriage. Eze, I make this request today with a strong conviction that God started this process and that with your permission that God will conclude this process. That is my son. The real definition of the son of the soil. I will now call out the lady to come here and speak her mind because she's the one that has the final say. Call the princess.
Okay, Chupu, you are indeed a blessing to this kingdom. I pray this union works because it will trigger a lot of things in this kingdom. Give him a peck before me. That tells me something. But that will not prevent me from proceeding with the edged protocol. This young man brought a lot of items required for marriage declaration in Amanato. That is to say he's asking for your hand in marriage. Should we go ahead and accept those items? Or do we ask him to go? and come back next time. He is the best I have seen. The only one I see as a husband. The one I went for knowing full well that there is nothing wrong in a woman pursuing her dreams, no matter how big they are. Therefore, Father, accept whatever it is they came with. I will marry him. And upon that acceptance, Okechuku, I accept you to be my son-in-law. The traditional marriage will be a day after tomorrow. Igwe! Thank you very much, Your Highness. It is well with you, Master.